everybody. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time it is for you, where you are. Happy Friday. Welcome to another Friday stream. Um, it's me. I'm Hazel. I have a cat that sometimes comes by that may be around later. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <sighs> uh, such a fun change. I'm so powerful. Did you see the the launcher art graphic they did? Let me see if I can find it. Did they did they put it on the carousel? I lost it. There's a there's a marketing graphic they put out for Panda Remix that was like the new Garage Key Art and it had text overlaid that said overpowered maybe. Fun definitely. Which I thought was pretty pretty goofy. Juicy Snug Bubble, thank you for the 16 month reset. I want to turn music back on and I want to get back on to shellfish here. Also, um I am a little more broke than I used to be on retail because I used some gold and I bought another token because, as you can see, the murloc outfit was very important. <laughs> see, I did a lot of trailer on YouTube. Oh, since yesterday I got to level 54! Holy smokes! Hey, Hazel and Shaq. Hi, Saga. How you doing? Can't wait to test my character out outside of time running, honestly. Mm -hmm. Played 10 minutes of remix. It's so much fun. I am level 30. I leveled for like an hour off stream yesterday and that was about it. Um, I look incredible and I am for whatever reason feeling inclined to stay in the Jade Forest for as long as I can like humanly get away with. I, I'm just feeling that kind of wanting to be a little completionist about it vibe so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep questing for as long as I've got quests out here. There should be maybe some new Maybe new, um, maybe new daily quest for me to do for Cloud Serpent. I was trying to get my Order of the Cloud Serpent rep up. I was doing the Cloud Serpent racing quests. Um, I'm at 8k revered. They give you a pretty big, pretty big rep boost. I made k revered with them, but I thought it was so funny doing Cloud Serpent racing again because I hadn't thought about it in ages. And it's like dragon, dragon racing dot JPEG. It's like, it's like... It's very much like a very primitive version of what we got used to in Dragonflight. It's just kind of funny going back and doing it again now. Selvax, thank you for the five month reset. Can't even start remix until tomorrow, so I will live vicariously through you. I know I feel a little bit like, especially when I see all my people that I know that are like a lot higher level than me, I, I feel a tiny bit like, oh no, I'm falling behind, but we've got. Oh, oh, oh nice, okay. We've got new daily quest. Perfect. Also, the other thing I should do is I should drop by the bazaar so that I can pick up the, um, I should drop by the bazaar so I can pick up the, whatchamacallit, the dailies that you get from, from there as well. So I may as well just pop up there. <sighs> Scaling at 70 is a bit iffy. Mm. Did LFR, multiple people were already 70, mildly well-geared. Uh -huh. Surprised you didn't buy it for yesterday's stream. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty fun. I didn't know at the time that there are two different hood options for the Murloc outfit. There's This is the angry one, and it's got all the teeth on the hood, but there's also a happy Murloc face that doesn't have the teeth and has like a little <laughs> grin. <laughs> okay, let's pick up. Let's just get all of them. Because I do love, apparently I do love a daily quest. So that wants me to do three dungeon bosses, two raid bosses, and I don't want to do any more LFR. I heard a rumor about normal that sounded kind of kind of wild, but I'm gonna stick with questing for the moment. I might I might look into some raid stuff later. I figure the more levels I can get first, though, the more buttons I have to play with. There is a drop. You can earn the Eye of the Legion for watching four hours of a stream, such as but not included to my own. Before May, oh, I'll go back to it later. 30th, I believe. Feels fun, but overwhelming with all the socket abilities. I find the thing that's... Oh, actually, hang on. Before I get... Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get carried away here, I did do some questing, and I definitely did not... I definitely did not, like, go through my gear to put on my biggest upgrades and stuff. So what I want to do is I want to pull just, like... I want to figure out... So that is an item level 69 two-hander. So that's good. I just want to put on like the highest item level stuff that has some kind of... I'm not worried too much about min-maxing my stats right now. So we've got item level 63 helmets. So I'll, I'll throw one of those on. My shoulders are also 63. Uh, that one's avoidance. That one's versa. Avoidance, versa. 
avoidance. So I guess I'll, I guess I'll throw the Versa ones on. I've got crit ones on right now, but I don't want to worry about, uh, I'm just, I'm just keeping item level caught up. That's, oh, oh, that's right. It's because of the gem that they've got crit. I gotcha. So, and then the chest piece and then the gloves, the new belt that's got speed on it. My legs are caught up. My boots could maybe go up a little bit. There we go. So now what I want to do, if I can get off this mountain, is I want to scrap the rest of this. It's going to take any extra gems that I have in that gear that I just took off, and it's going to spit them into my bag so that I can re-gem everything. Um, that's kind of like going down. Also, guess who has Shadow Crush? I feel incredibly powerful. What's this button do? Oh, yeah. That's my meta gem thing. What are the details on the Murloc outfit? It's a shop. It's a shop thing. It's a cash shop transmog outfit unfortunately. My dearest hope is that they recolor it, maybe do like a blue or a purple one and put it on the trading post eventually, but for the moment, for the moment we're talking cash shop. I must say it's really fun. <laughs> Don't worry about telling us the rumor. Me pass around rumors? Never. Is there some automation and restocking when you get an update? No, I find gem management to be one of the fussiest things about Remix. I will say that one of the best things about it is that your gems will go back to your bag. So if you just like put on all your upgrades, scrap all the stuff you were used to wear, all of your gems that you that got taken out will get spit out to here. So then you can just kind of go back and put your put your stuff back. It's a bit it, it's a bit fussy. Not a bad excuse to um to take a look at your gems and combine any that you haven't gotten around to yet as well. Oh, that's a Tinker gem. All right. Let's do Wind Weaver. And then we need two stat gems. Yeah, sure. Buckets of crit. <laughs> and then I'm looking for, this is another two. These ones are Tinker Sockets. Pretty cool. Wildfire and Flourish, sure. And then there's another Tinker slot means I get to pick another one. Uh, when we were in Kindle, Lightning Rod, Wildfire, Explosive Barrage, and Swindle. I don't have any of those. So, um, sure. I've got the WoW head guide pulled up for, um, is that another Tinker slot? I've got the WoW head guide pulled up with like a list of the Oh no, that's a cogwheel slot. Okay. Oh yeah, and that's where I'm gonna put my blink. <laughs> I was lucky enough to get blink to drop for me, so I'm pretty set on that front. All right, it wasn't the fastest thing ever, but at least I'm updated now. I'm at a level 45. It came to my attention that it's pretty nice and important to keep the highest item level stuff on that you can. Whether that means upgrading the ones that you have, if you like the secondaries on them and you wanna hold on to that, or just putting on new drops that you get. Because especially for tinker slots, um, I understand that they scale relevant to the item level of the gear that they're in. So you want to, you want to make sure that you've got the best, the best tinker, tinker slot pieces, the highest item level that, as possible. That sentence almost didn't survive. <laughs> Holy macaroni and noodles here. Um, now that I am a little higher level, I've got a little more by way of cooldowns here. And one of the nice things about having Tireless Spirit on Shadow Priest, I've come to understand, is that you can totally just cast it and then spam Devouring Plague. And it won't it won't consume any insanity, so you can just get a bunch of them out. You can start Raid Finder at level 25. Unless they've changed something, it's not good for experience. Um, I did I did Mogish on Vault's Raid Finder yesterday, and it was, I don't wanna say a huge waste of time. I got some bronze, and I'm sure I got some threads maybe some gear from it, but the the XP gain was almost nothing. <laughs> How does priest leveling feel? I think it's good. Um, I think anything's gonna feel like it's leveling pretty, pretty fast once you start getting your threads and your gems online. I will say that now that I'm level 30, priest and shadow priest in particular feels a bunch better. It was before misery and then before shadow crash applying dots it was kind of it didn't feel very good to a we pull and single target pulling doesn't feel like a super super tight use of your time 
Here's a cave of this model that's in the um, in Dunmoreau and Classic. Oh, maybe nowadays too, when it had the trogs in it and I went in there in hardcore. Made a Shadow Priest. Also planned to heal that chicken dough. I did a little bit of healing very early and I found that um, it was wild without all of your buttons. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a lot. Playing Shadow with sub 30% haste feels so gross now. Yeah, I have Shadow Crash and I have Shadow Crash applying dots, so I'm living. Did the smart thing, made my time runner adrenaline so I can get the Heritage Emerald when remix is done. Very nice. Hello. Sorry, Caps. You're all good. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? How you doing? That's how the, the goblins say it. Some mobs almost three shot me, other mobs at the same level barely do damage to me. Uh, is anybody else also a member of the Got Moitered by a Zandalari War Scout Club? <laughs> I think it was off stream. And I, I saw it and I was like, it's not like a war bringer. <laughs> and I pulled it and it punched me and I died. I, I died real good. Got murked by a War Scout, yeah. I don't know what led me to believe I could do it, because I feel like I should have known that they're max level mobs. Um, I even looked at it and I was like, oh, he's got the little skull for a level. That's fun. And then I thought, I'm powerful. I'm strong and independent and wearing a bunch of gems. <laughs> Surely I've got this covered. Not so much. Check the level HP, realized they weren't scaling. That's a, that's a smart thing to do. Can I just do a big, big, big pull? G give me, give me a bunch of stuff. Yeah. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> Popped bubbles of pally first. Noticed I needed to run away. Too late. I just took the res sickness, and then I was like, "Oh, it's only sixty seconds of res sickness. This is great." But then I had the brilliant idea to like start fighting things again during res sickness, even though it was only a minute long. This is another thing I do not recommend. <laughs> saw his HP, saw my HP, noped out. That is one of the main troubles with my habit of um, checking HP by percentage, is I was like, well, he's at full health. And I'm at full health. <laughs> so we're both at full health. I didn't check the number. <laughs> he's staying in Jade Forest to get the achieves. Yeah, I think so. It feels good to me right now to see, to like kind of do everything once in this zone. Um, I've already got the looking for more achievement, and I'm working on the campaign achievement. Like, I want to do this. This seems fun to me right now, so I'm... I did a bunch of it. I finished the, uh, the Tian Monastery quest. Those are really cute. So I'm just... Yeah, I want to I wanna do this for sure. And then I also am hoping that I can, in reasonably short order, get the Cloud Serpent rep done. I don't know if it'll be today. I might need to do a few more days of dailies. But, uh... Yeah. I want to get today done, actually, the... I want to get done today the... I want the Cherry Blossom Trail Toy, because I want to see it. And I want to have it, and I want it to be mine. <laughs> Which means that the fastest way for me to do that, I believe, is going to be via... Um, you need, probably via the campaign? Hang on. So if you look at the, if you look at the, the Jade Forest achievement, you need two of the three achievements. So I either need to finish Order of the Cloud Serpent, or I need to do these three achievements. So the campaign achievement is actually not relevant at all. <laughs> the campaign achievement is actually not necessary for this meta achievement. Uh, the meta achievement would want me to do f three rares. I've done one, so I need to find two more rares. And then explore the zone. That's actually probably pretty easy. What I would maybe want to do is pull up like handy notes or something to mark the rare locations in my map and see if I can find them. I was hoping I would just kind of trip over more of them. Because um, Ferdinand was, was not too big of a deal. But I don't think I want to like stop my leveling and stop my questing to to go super out of my way to look for everything. I think I want to just like keep chugging along and if I trip on stuff then that's great. There we go. <laughs> Let's go turn these in. We grouped up for Galleon today. 20 of us. It was really fun killing him. Oh, nice. Tamed one of those spirit beast porcupines last night. At the very last second of the tame channel, he did 95% of my health in one hit. <gasps> you got him though, yeah? <sighs> so I have three onyx eggs this morning. Very exciting. 
Oh, I forgot about the egg hunting. I think. I remember it was a thing with nether wings. Did I know it was a thing here? Okay. So I turned in those. That got me a um, couple thousand rep. So I'm halfway through. I'm halfway through revered. Uh, how am I doing on on uh, lesser chunks of good fortune? I've got six, so I think I can actually turn something else in. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear you get a new appearance for the cloak of infinite potential every thirty seconds. <laughs> like it's like every five minutes, it's like a new appearance has been added to your collection. Please check the database. <sighs> oh, okay, so they want ten. All right, good to know. Good to know. August Celestials dailies and stuff down there. I think I'm gonna detour a little bit to well, I'll go this way. Think name time. Chat color still reflects when I was a DH. Oh, pink's a great color. Great visibility with these rare scanner. Mm. Got the cherry blossom last night. It's a 10 minute duration with a 10 minute cooldown, so you can have it all the time. <gasps> Oh, I need it. <laughs> I need it so bad. I love cherry blossom cosmetics and stuff. It's just, it's it's like such a simple cheat code to making me like something is to put pink petals on it. <laughs> it's, it's not complicated. Black Desert Online once for a spring event did like a cherry blossom festival and you could get these, uh, like a bunch of cherry blossom themed cosmetics to put in your house. And I just ground out like 50 of them. The same one, like a big ceramic vase with big cherry blossom branches in it and i just filled up my house with them and i looked around and i went ah yes <laughs> taste style class <laughs> architectural digest i'm ready anytime i feel like i've overcooked it i'm almost at 65 loved mop at launch enjoying remix a lot nah if anything i'm undercooked i got some catching up to do it feels really good now after the first day though i feel like day two feels awesome because you're moving a little faster you start grooving a little a little more um, as you get, as you get more and more power-ups and stuff. What am I meant to be doing? I'm meant to be looting this jade. Oh, I see, I see. My cloak buff is at, I'm mostly concerned with the experience. I'm at 34% XP gain. Hazel, I may or may not have 89% XP gain. Holy smokes. <laughs> Give me the loot. I want to buy my mounts. I bought a couple of them, but now I'm feeling like maybe I should just stack up a lot of bronze and not worry about shopping and then just go back and do it later. I've got too much I've got too much leveling to do to be shopping. I do wish that I could see my uh my boy smelly shellfish a little better, but that is that is one of the things with being a shadow priest. I have plenty of time to consider what my next character is gonna be though. Because I wanna get to 70 at least. Like at a minimum. I wanna get to 70 and kind of set this character up so that they can heal any raids that I might want to do. And then my second character is going to be a hunter. I'm pretty sure. Unless I talk myself into like a... What would I talk myself into? Like a mage or a monk? Well, that's pretty. do you have a cherry blossom tattoo sleeve? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go make some breakfast. Looking forward to your War Within quick guide soon. Aw, shucks. Appreciate Hello. it very, very much. Goodbye. I thought this zone was with the big jade statue that they're working on was just so cool. I always like the little jade statues that you could kind of buy cheap in gift shops. Over here. Oh, I got you, bud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Extra stamp threads. Ah, you you and you want me to free miners and I'm slay sure you nimblers. You gotcha. You betcha. Apparently normal XP raids, very valuable for XP threads, other loot, check group finder. Yeah, I that was the rumor that I heard, was that you get kind of bonkers amounts of XP threads specifically from doing normal raid. I just, I mean on one hand I was like, I kind of want to be higher level before I try it, but then on the other hand, um, you know, if I got, if I got those XP threads, then I would be able to get higher level much more quickly. It's kind of a tough one. Mo, thank you very much for giving out five gift subs. I super appreciate it. Got to lose picked him up. In here now at level 30 myself. I'm sure I could participate in a normal raid and contribute. I just feel like I'm having too much fun questing right now. Questing feels really good. 
and raid yesterday like when i did the lfr felt like i was like it kind of took the steam out of me <laughs> took the wind out of my sails um even though i i feel like it's probably a smart idea efficiency wise but also you know i don't know if there's a wrong way to play remix <laughs> stephanie thank you for these seven month resub Whee! Hmm. I didn't make any tea today. I probably should have. I could have made a green tea. I was already done with my coffee before we got started. <sighs> Is anybody already on their second character? Or are we still like leveling our first ones to 70? It's your party after all. Jasmine tea sounds like a good plan today. Mm. That does sound good. Maybe at stream break. Maybe in another like hour. I'll take like five minutes and I'll, I'll put on the kettle and make a nice big pot of green tea. Still in first for sure. Still in my first. She's level 18. Still the first. Okay. I feel like the second character is going to be so fun, but I don't want to rush it. I want to make sure that I like really get it off to the best start that I can. I also at some point want to level a character like with Flabby, um, but I can't level Shellfish with his Demon Hunter because I'm Horde. First, mostly because I'm not rushing at all. Didn't have much time to play last night. Like like fifteen. Mm. I think there's I think there's loads and loads of time. I think it's gonna be a little bit like uh, Plunger Storm was for me, where it's like, oh man, it's limited time event. I need to get everything, and then I get everything in like a week, and then I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> I suppose that's that. I don't think I'm gonna be done with Remix in a week, um, but I think uh, I don't think it's gonna take like ninety two days or whatever to to get everything possible out of it. Um, have I been? I have not been freeing the miners. Oh, I see, I see. Wow. Be on my second character health issues yesterday. Mostly better now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I'm glad to hear you're doing better now, but I'm sorry to hear you weren't doing well yesterday. No idea what my second tune will be. I think I'm going to make a hunter. I think I'm following my heart. <laughs> I don't think there's any good reason for me to play classes that don't speak to me for the sake of it. At least not, not right now. Like, maybe one day a randomizer alt will come out as like a... I don't know, like a Windwalker monk and I'll get into it, but <laughs> if I play a hunter, then I get to pick like panda pets to tame. Ten characters level across at least six classes to get done by mid-August. Thankfully, there's plenty of time. I bet you there's going to be some pretty, it's going to be pretty bonkers fast to level like subsequent characters once you really get all these XP threads ready to like leveled up and ready to share. I think it's going to go real quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm curious as to how far through the zones I'm going to get before level 70. I was thinking that it wouldn't be too crazy for me to be able to hit 70 with just the Jade Forest and the Valley of the Four Winds. But I also don't have anything to back that up aside from, like, vibes. No, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna stay in the Jade Forest and do as much as I can for as long as I feel like I can get away with, and just for fun, just to see. And that way, I can kind of like save some zones and have them be like untouched for for other characters to work on. Excited to unlock Ordos. Never did that when it was current. I don't think you can have pandas as pets. They might not appreciate the diving process. But what if it involves beer and, you know, pretzels? How we doing? Just hit 68. Only have 78% of my XP bonus. Oh, well, congrats on being almost 70. That's incredible. Figured we'd at least get to Veil by 70 for the first go. Maybe. Um, might be absolutely true. I'm just kind of. I'm just going to kind of try. <sighs> there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of quests that you don't. I mean, you don't really need to do any quests. I just, there's a lot of quests in these zones, and I feel like if I really dig deep and I, especially like I'm doing like rep dailies and stuff, and maybe like a daily dungeon and a daily scenario and whatnot for those achievements. So if I do that, minor bronze cash, well, is that really worth it? It's not, 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 not worth it. I am looking, my eyeballs are skimming right over these greenstone miners. There we go, we're halfway done. Rock piles, rock piles. Just hit 90% XP. My RG's been nice. All cool. It is kind of funny how it how the XP gain is like <laughs> how much you get. It seems pretty RNG. 
different people end up with like pretty wildly different amounts by the time they reach 70 for the first time. I'm kind of curious, and I don't have any empirical way to test this. I'm kind of curious if XP threads have higher drop rates in some types of content, like maybe group content. Um, if you took somebody that leveled mostly in dungeons and you compared, on average, th XP threads against somebody that leveled mostly outdoors, if you would come up with, if you could find any trends, or if it's just like pure, you know, chaos of the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Outside of the 12% per normal boss thing. I'm thinking like dungeons and stuff. Someone yesterday said there was a cap to XP. I haven't seen anything, I haven't heard anything further yet, though. I kind of want to, I feel like in a couple of days we'll know more. Gotten 10 cloak thread achievements already at level 40. Where am I at? Six? Morning, wonder how many clicks are being generated by people who saw the stream title and just have to figure that one out. Oh, smelly shellfish. <laughs> For a moment I'm like, we, know, we all know what remix is now, right? Cap on bonuses to the cloak? I don't know either. Um, that's something I'm waiting to find out more. Someone yesterday in stream said that there was a limit to how much bonus experience could be stacked on the cloak and that it, it capped out at 350%. I don't know if that's true, um, but some somebody said that. That's where that's where I'm at right now in data gathering. One of the echo guys with over 300, just be a high cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 350 would still be a ton. No, I think it's fun getting a bunch of movement speed. I don't know exactly how fast I'm walking, but it feels pretty pretty good. We've got wind weaver. I've got I've got speed threads in the cloak. You know, it feels pretty good, pretty nice. I want to get out. I want to get out of here. Is the door this way? I think that might be a dead end. I think the stairs are important. Should be over a thousand like my stamina. I wonder if it's reasonable to do all of the remix achievements during remix. Like all of them. There's a lot of them. There's a there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of doing. I guess it's not. It would be doing like basically like lore master, and then all of the reps, explore all the zones, do every scenario, do every dungeon, do every raid boss. But not too much else really. I guess rares and treasures and stuff. Anyone else feel like the gem system in remix feels a lot like old school Diablo? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it. There we go. Finally made it out of there. <laughs> I got a Tinker Gem called Slay. For a brief moment, I thought that was a pet. Jade delivered. Board the Jade Cart ride with how back to Emperor Omen. Oh, here we go. Hold That's fine. Give them a whooping. Normal dungeons or heroic dungeons better for XP? I don't know. It seems like both are not not as strong as questing to I me. Just don't know when to give up, do they? Who needs an ox when you've got a strong panda farmer like this to pull your guard around? Keep it up back there. Adam for the gems called Remix Gem Helper, kind of like the SOD rune system with it. Oh, I'm gonna make a note of that. That might, <laughs> that might. I mean, I guess I could just install it and find out. Why write down when you can just grab Remix Gem Helper? <laughs> what a rush! <laughs> I like you. You keep things interesting. So, Lily, we're back from the quarry. Got a special delivery just for you. <laughs> I mean, if you snow lily me, honey bear. We were worried sick about you. That's my line. <laughs> and the delivery is not for me, how the honorable lord I call, has been waiting. Uh, oh. variety of uh, 
Sorry to keep you waiting. Loved ones and I animals in my house, either honey bear or boo boo bear. Stranger <laughs> here saved my old hive. <laughs> what else should I do for my Pandaren? What class? Should, what What does your heart say? Because if your heart's really confused, you could you could always just roll it randomly. Come speak with me. The mean queen of greed. And level thirty two. We get another point. Maybe a little extra empiric touch damage. Twist of fate. Yeah, there we go. Cloak stats. Fun little weak to see your current bonuses. Mm. I feel like I don't mind just checking the buff. That's pretty reasonable. I'm at 34% XP currently at level 32. I like how pandas hold two-handed swords. wonder if any classes are doing better than the others. There must be some that just have really good scaling or pairing or synergy with various gems. But it seems like pretty much whatever feels real, real strong. Next one. I'm gonna do an ungems. Anything new to combine? Nah. Deliveries. Keeping an eye out for any rares. Oh yeah. I wanted to. So I reloaded. I wanted to check out the add-on. Oh, uh, so this is remix gem helper helper, so I can filter to different types of gems. If I go to, like, Tinker Gems, for example, I can show unowned gems as well. In bag versus socketed. Interesting. Yeah! I don't... I guess I just don't understand how to use it yet. I guess anything's a little bit more organized than just, like, the bags. Welcome. Next one is on me. Uh, do you not need anything here? Oh no, it's up here. What is your hurry? Stay focused. Since I hit six, my hunter pet does not want to stay alive. Oh no. Uh, gems are not class specific. No, not at all. How can I use dragon riding with my regular mount? Wait for the War Within pre patch. The mount that I'm on right now is a dragon riding mount. It's the parrot that you got from Plunderstorm. Um, but once the War Within pre patch hits, we're going to be able to use a lot more flying mounts as dragon riding mounts. Bought both of the juggernauts. Fell iron one looks so cool. Also, the little red riding goat is so small. Do you think they will add BGs to Remix? Um, I think that what we have is what we're gonna get. I don't think they're gonna they're gonna patch stuff in mid event, especially when it's like a limited time event with a timer that's already ticking down. I think that if they wanted to do it with BGs, then that would be something maybe for next time that they do like a Remix event. My girl's legs drag on the ground on the goat. <laughs> Hi Hazel, hope you're well. How's Remix treating you? Didn't play mops, I'm playing it like a new X Pack made of Frost Mage. Love the meta gems. I'm having I'm having a lot of fun. I feel I'm struggling with the feeling of feeling behind. I keep reminding myself that I'm not behind. There's lots of time. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Welcome, no one's leaving me behind. And that as long as I'm having fun, we're doing it right. <laughs> Remix wide with Ashran next. Do you think there's enough content to last till the war within pre patch? For, like, me personally, yes. Um, I can't speak for anybody else, though, because it would depend a lot on how much time you have to game and what it is that you want to fill that time with. I'm sure there are people that that lead, like, really busy lives, and they have, like, half an hour every day and then, like, an hour on weekends, and they're, they're just going to scrape the surface of stuff. And then there's other people that have a lot of time and are going to have the whole summer off, and they might run out of stuff. Depends on how much you play and what you want to do. I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty good though. I'm not too worried about running out of remix to do. It seems like, especially if I want to replay all of the mob questing, that's a pretty big project. That could that could keep me busy for a hot minute. Greeting, wanderer. It'd be unfair to add PvP to this when they didn't add PvE to Plunderstorm. You you could say that. Um. I don't know if I don't know if I'm if I'm if I'm on board that particular train of thought though. I don't think you can you can hold 
fairness parody to game releases like you can to like two siblings getting Christmas presents, you know? <laughs> I think uh, I think if we have any idea that Blizzard needs to do things fairly, um, you know, they're, they're, they're a company, they're not our parents. Also, sometimes parents aren't fair. To quote all the Pandaren, slow down. We will need hella bronze to get everything. I don't think I'll get many things. I'm at 4k bronze. What am I meant to be doing? Launching more fireworks. This is such a cool... This has always been such a beautiful dungeon map. I'm usually too busy getting ruined by the uh, the ads when I do this hallway, but it's really pretty. It's a lovely area with like the lighting effects and the waterfalls and everything. Get a bunch of stuff gathered up. Easy to pug the normal raid for XP gain? I haven't tried yet. I don't know. That's a great question. I think it should not be too hard to pug. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and my reasoning for that is that everybody's like really strong. <laughs> So I'm not anticipating normal to be, like, wildly difficult. Can I get anything? Yeah, there we go. But I haven't tried it, so I don't have any first-hand experience. Okay. 14k bronze, only level 50, just questing and stuff. Get a lot from doing the campaign in each zone and other achieves. So the Mythic Raid will give, like, 30k. I think that'll be fine. Mythic Raid? I think that's the first I've heard that there's Mythic Raid. I thought it was only normal and heroic. Mm. Siege is Mythic. Oh. I Siege. <laughs> Tell me of your travel. I'm going to be a hero like you. Be aware of your Today I had an assessment for my first job driving semis and I nailed it. 99% sure. Verbally offered me the job. Oh, awesome. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Wish the Panda Dungeons were Mythic Plus. Hey, every now and then they give us one in the, in the modern Dragonflight season. We had this one not that long ago. Hey, Hazel. How you liking Moth? Hi, Gaming Rigs. I'm having... A wonderful time. It really feels like an expansion launch, which is kind of nuts. That's a bit crazy, but it, it does to me. Great way to take people through content they've never seen. Wish there was a way to bring current characters through Remix just for the story so my wife can see some of the fun stuff. She refuses to make a new character. I mean, they didn't... They didn't... Like, it technically is possible for you to go back and play any of these quests on retail, right? Like, you could just turn on Trivial Quest Tracking and go back to Mop and, and have at it. Because this stuff is all in. It's not like a... It's not like a... Like a classic era server. Uh, it's something 25. Thank you very much for the brand new sub. I really appreciate it. What do you do at 70? My feeling is that I'm going to look for things that I could maybe only do at 70. Maybe maybe raid with all my powers, but aside from that, uh, level level more alts. I think that the main draw of remix for me is leveling, and that the things that you do that get you bronze are all things you can do while leveling. So I don't think there, um, there's going to be a ton of playing in endgame. I guess I don't know for sure. I ought to be squishing these things. I'm just pop popping them out and not... There we go. Interact key, that's the stuff. How does the cloak work for alts? My understanding is that as you gain cloak threads on your main, you hit these thresholds, these infinite power achievements, and those have the listed text here, future time running characters begin with more threads collected. What I don't know, and I haven't checked yet, I'm not convinced that they're going to begin with the same threads collected. There might be like a template. I don't know for, I don't know. But um, it doesn't say how many threads and it doesn't say which threads. But every time you get one of those threshold achievements, future time running characters begin with more. So it seems in your best interest to get as many of those achievements as you can on one character before you start a second one so that they can have the best possible start. The timer on the character screen gives me FOMO. I don't like the countdown, even though I'm sure I'll get everything I want. 
curious to see how high level I'd be if I only did campaign quests and the purple triangle quest. Doing those first. Saving all the side quests for later if I need them to ding 70. Nice. Yeah, I was at first I wasn't I didn't see the point of doing side quests at all, but then I realized that if you want to get the like the campaign achievement includes these different side quest hubs. So even quests that don't have the the big banner icon on them are part of that campaign achievement. Not that you need to do the campaign achievement for anything, but I just kind of felt like felt like it for completionism's sake. So I'm trying to this is kind of my template for for what I want to work through. Right now I'm doing this one. Why do we randomly get buffs occasionally? What's that from? I think it's I think we're looting things. I think we're looting items that auto apply a buff to you, like that prayer of purged power or whatever. Um, I also am fuzzy on the details, but anything that makes me stronger is <laughs> fine by me. No trouble, no problem. One more cloud serpent. Campaign achieve gives one K bronze. Husband and I are playing together. We have wildly different threads, even though we've killed the exact same mobs, done exactly the same quests. At level 20, I have 17% bonus XP and he's only got 8. Oh! Do I not have to do the campaign achieve for the cloak transmog? I think the cloak transmog is just from leveling up um, leveling up your threats. Like, you loot threats from whatever it is that you want. And I think that as you do that, you get more cloak, threat, cloak transmogs. But I may have misunderstood. Oh, the chicken cloak. Oh, for the chicken cloak, you specifically need... Um, to do the Valley of the Four Winds achievements, you need two of these three. So if you want, you could do the Looking for Group achievement and then the Tour achievement that has you do rares, treasures, and exploration, and you can totally skip the campaign um, you. because you don't need to do all three of them. What is a living seed? Okay. The cloak changes appearance. Yeah, as you level, your cloak of infinite power unlocks different appearances. Not the chicken cloak, but like your 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 legendary cloak. LFG does require killing world boss, it seems. Mm. I'm not allowed to skip this achievement, am I? Or not achievement, cutscene. I apologize for the deception. But it was necessary. Did you find the fishing guy? And see what I said about him. I have not found the fishing guy. I did not see. <laughs> uh, please repeat. I've got a shorter chat. I've got a shorter chat history than I used to on this monitor. Been playing balance I haven't noticed. Come ride with me, little one. There is something I, I have a Pandaren priest. I'm trying to keep myself leveling because if I keep making characters, I won't get anything done. Are we able to get the old mop legendary cloak appearances? They said something before Panda Remix came out about that. I don't know if I recall specific details, but I think you are able to unlock like a toy or something that gives you the appearances. Or maybe it's the, maybe, maybe actually like the, the visual. The temple think you get a toy. Yeah, yeah something like that. <laughs> What's at the Infinite Bazaar? What isn't at the Infinite I Bazaar? You can buy all kinds of stuff there. You can buy gems, you can buy consumes, you can buy all the cosmetics. Um, all the cosmetics you can get from Remix are all on various vendors around the Bazaar. You in the distance. Awaken Mount, the only thing that's going away at the end of Season 4? Wonder if it'd be wise to just know Life Remix. The Awaken Mount and the Keystone Master Mount would be, would be the main things. Um, but I think that you will have enough time. I think that you could know Life Remix, get whatever you want out of it now while you're having fun with it, and still be able to go back and catch up on whatever you need from from season four. I don't think it's over anytime soon. <sighs> fishing trainer standing by the river next to Half Hill gives a quest for golden carp trains fishing. We got only golden carp and bronze from the fishing cast when we were doing it. Oh, neat. Man, Yulon has a lot to say. Now we can use our rafts. Ha ha. We live together or we die together. All of Pandaria is connected. Mm. I grow weary. I must rest now. Yeah, right. Good is this your new map? No, no, but I think I do have one like this. I'm pretty sure I have like that. There's a like a jade. Yeah, Yule, daughter of jade. What was that from? Timeless time walking. I do have a man like that. Okay, I want to pop on 
my highest item level upgrades here just to keep my my gear item level caught up that all looks good scrap the extras <laughs> you're about to destroy a socketed item which is fine it's fine they give you gems back it's great and then you go back in here one meta gem two thinker gems Two prismatic gems. And another tinker gem. I still don't have that many good tinker gems, but I'm I figure I'm just gonna leave it alone. Tell me of your travel. Mm. Alright, so that gave me the Temple of the Jade of Serpent. I love filling this out, it's so fun. Uh let me check in at the August Celestials. I thought that was like a later rep, but let me go see what they want. They might just want me to turn in uh, Bless Your Charms of Good Fortune. You are most welcome. Farm Bronze, you have three plus months. Doesn't need to be done in three days. Yeah, but like, what if we did it in three days? <laughs> what if you want to do it in three days? Oh yeah, all kinds of all kinds of achievements. Or not achievements, daily quests. <laughs> uh yeah, the Twitch drop does still work if you change to a different stream with drops enabled. You can you can earn little bits across different streams and it will it will all count cumulatively. Oh. Item level cap for mop remix. That I wanna say five twenty two. Because you can upgrade, you can upgrade gear at the upgraders, I think, basically that far. But maybe it goes farther than that. Scarlet says 566. Thought about doing a new mountain toy showcase? Love the opening scene in your stream. Oh. I used to do, um, I used to do videos like that pretty, pretty often. Maybe if I can, uh, get some more of these things, I can show them off in more detail. What if you farmed everything you could to max out the cloak and all the buffs and then started doing time to speed run leveling alts? That sounds pretty fun. Just got one shot by a Zandalari War Scout. Welcome to the club. I was I was there last night. <laughs> and now every time I see one, they jump scare me. I just start backpedaling and panicking. Oh, I see. I need to I need to deliver some stuff. That's right. Saw it and ran, yeah. I love, I love, love, love being able to just right-click to use quest items now. There's so many quests it works with now, and it's fantastic. It's so nice for this. Oh my goodness. I have this doubt debuff, and it makes your character whisper yourself. And Shellfish, which is me, I am Smelly Shellfish. Shellfish just whispered me saying, does this armor look a little tight on me? <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Buddy, no. <laughs> Thought the 250k health was just for show. War Scout's the new remix meme. Um, ancient Sutras. These are for Masks of Doubt. Oh, we loot them off the ground. I gotcha. Shellfish has failed himself today. <laughs> I keep hearing voices in my head. Should I be worried? <laughs> Loving being able to use F rather than click on things in the world to collect loot them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I do feel like if I get too used to leveling alts like this... Actually, I don't even know if then... I don't know if I'm ever going to level an alt the old-fashioned way ever again. <laughs> I have so many characters that are already at... That are already at, like, 70. So I haven't really felt the need to, the need or the drive to like get a new alt from one to 70 the old fashioned way in like quite a while. And then it seems like if this is really successful, I could very much see them doing it again every now and then. And if it's so much fun and it's so easy to level alts during an event like this, I would just, if I really wanted to level an alt, I would almost wait. 
I guess unless I like had in my head that I needed another character and I was going to use it for X, Y, Z thing. But I have a, a big enough library of alts now that I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen to me. I could just use one of those. Totally forgot there was a drop happening and I just got notified. I got it. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, that one kind of snuck up on me. I wasn't expecting it for some reason. You have the oh, eyes of one who has traveled and we got much. some extra lesser charms of good fortune. You have most Gotta love them. that. How's my buff up to? 40% experience at level 33 currently. I feel like that's pretty good. I guess I don't know. How many lesser charms? 13. So I think I can go give the pandas more. I think they have another, they have a daily where they, they'll take some. <laughs> Smashes through while singing the Hazel theme song. Hello! Hello! How you like the new monitor setup? It's good. It's, it's good. I feel a little less cramped and a little more professional. Um... I should probably turn my font size down, actually. That would help me a lot. Because that's one thing is I, I can only see, like, maybe 10 messages worth of chat history. And if it's... if it's, I think normally that's fine. But right now, with um, people having a good time and talking, I, I'm missing things a lot more easily. I swear there's a font size setting here somewhere. I am an absolute liability whenever I'm in chat settings. Any of my Twitch settings, especially because as the streamer, I have like ultimate power. <laughs> I'm scared to click on things. I once was modded in someone's stream. This was like, like almost 10 years ago, ages and ages ago. I was once modded in someone's stream. I forget who, and that's probably for the best. And I was like trying to click on something in chat just to see something. And I accidentally like banned like a regular and then I couldn't figure out how to undo it. I think I at least told somebody about it, but I also like never went back to that stream like ever again. <laughs> um, and ever since then, I feel like I cannot be trusted with any kind of Twitch chat tools. I want to check my rep. Uh, I was only 750 Cloud Serpent reps, so I'm a halfway through revered. I think we can definitely finish that rep pretty easily, but not like today. It's definitely like daily quest limited. I want to go down and work over this way. Iron Fist Hazel. <laughs> Dropped after seeing optometrist. No need for me to go to a specialist. Nice. Missed that whole story. Cause Sonic. Fist click way too much to rely on anything else. Slash commands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially like the the clickable chat um, buttons for things like timing out or or whatnot are great except for the fact that chat is moving <laughs> so you can be all set to ban somebody but then someone sends a message and then it moves up um i'm sure there is a way around that because it seems like that's a very obvious problem that twitch mods have been dealing with for a long time i'm sure you can just kind of pause your chat so that you can work on it but um you know <laughs> that's what i have you guys for how y'all like remix so far i'm having a wonderful time considered using chat arena i have not um, I'm also lucky in that, with the exception of a, f of <laughs> like a handful of people, uh, you guys are generally pretty well behaved and not really a ton needs to be done on most days. Oh, honey bun on a five stream streak. Thank you very much. And Flanoro. Flanora. Thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Got the cloak toys. Level 68. Get from getting tons of thread for the cloak. Uh -huh. Oh, what's this? It's a rare. I need it. Perfect. I'll only need to find one more rare after this, assuming this one counts. I have all these great cooldowns for leveling. Like PI and Tireless Spirit from my Metagem. And it's a bit silly because I don't use cooldowns when I'm questing. I'm trying to get around that. I'm trying to make myself remember to just, just, just use and just do it. Survivors rescued, raiders slain. I thought there was also a fire. That, yeah, yeah, you gotta put out the fire too. I'm missing one quest. Welcome one. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. Let's also go ahead and just kind of get a bunch of bunch of buffs here. Battle show sure went up. <laughs> I don't see any good reason not to. Okay. 
Can I share a Carbot YouTube playlist? Pure joy, hilarity, nostalgia for long-term players. I I appreciate the I appreciate the thought. I would encourage anybody looking for it to look it up. Um, links will get giga eaten though. We we don't have any links in chat. Enjoying your streams on YouTube. Finally had a chance to come to Twitch and sub. You're great. Oh, oh shucks. Thought there was a way to allow a one-time link. Not in this stream. Mm. You're not a dweeb. Unless you, unless you want to be a dweeb. You know. Self-identified clay labels. Hysteria KO, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. What's your favorite, like, without, 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 without linking anything, what is your favorite, like, nostalgic old WoW YouTube video? I used to really love the, the music video machinimas back in the day, and I have a couple of favorites. Although, currently being in Mop Remix, uh, Krendor's Lucky Do song, The Lucky Do Rap, has gotta be, like, gotta be right up there. Lucky Do from Krendor, exactly, you know it, you got it. <sighs> Who's the tank? 100% comedy gold. Among the Blood Elves. Hard like heroic. <laughs> oh man. What a what an era. What a time. It was such a popular format that there was a time very early in my YouTube years where I was trying to put something like that together, like to do a parody song, and it's a really good thing I never did. Because um, for all of my musical education, I'm not very good. <laughs> I can't sing to save my life. Not in key or on tune or any anything. Off key, out of tune. <laughs> and uh, my production skills are not, not great either. Teenies, wow music ranking. Pretty fly for a is goat, pun intended. Favorite YouTube vids from way back in the day were the Potter Puppet Pals. Weren't you a music major? Yep. <laughs> That's true. Didn't make me any good at it. <sighs> also, I've dropped out. It's not like I finished my degree or anything. Snacky's journal about the fishing contest. Oh, look at that. More threads. I had to do one voice exam as part of my in as part of my classes. Um, and it was the most terrifying thing. Well, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm easily scared. So I'm scared of a lot of things, but it was one of the most terrifying things that I ever did. I technically passed, but, uh, yeah, some things in life you're just not meant to do. <laughs> the flame wreath chant permanently etched in my brain. A uh, voice exam could be done in any style of vocals. Well, it's not like it wasn't like American Idol. It was like sing a scale kind of thing, you know. Like it was, can you can you cleanly hit like intervals and stuff? Uh, it was just about being able to produce notes with your squishy, you know, meaty bits. That's it. <laughs> it was it was very elementary. I did pass. I managed to do it, but like. Ugh. Um, I've not, I've never really had an eye for that. <laughs> it's a major major too. Sight singing was terrifying. You should show us how you do it. No. <laughs> not for a thousand gift subs. I would do anything for, you know, like a house stamp payment, but I won't do that. <laughs> Oxhorn's Ruffle Mouse hilarious. 17 years ago, it's funny. The, um, I think it was Oxhorn. There, the Christmas, there was a set of Christmas specials, and one of them was, it's beginning to feel a lot like this raid isn't gonna happen, and I enjoyed that thoroughly. What about a thousand and one gift subs? <laughs> Did you just quote Meatloaf? <laughs> I like the typo. Did you quit Meatloaf? Are you the reason Meatloaf is, Meatloaf is, actually, I don't know if Meatloaf is retired. He seems like the kind of person that wouldn't be. <laughs> I like his inventing swear word series. Meatloaf passed away. Oh, but he drove the bus on Spice World. I don't. I guess I don't know why I think that should grant immortality, but, but. <laughs> oh man.
Okay, all right. I know meatloaf's gone. We don't. We can stop telling me now. Rub it in. My goodness. Loved in Fight Club. Mm. That is his legacy for you driving the spice bus. Yeah, problem. <laughs> he went into the dashboard light. Mm. Okay, of all of the things that we're going to hang out and talk about on stream, listing dead celebrities is not not the way that I'm going to let this go. <laughs> let's 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 move on. Let's find a new topic. Let me Google. Conversation topics. This will go well. What is your deepest fear? Good grief! <laughs> That's the number one first recommended conversation topic when, you, when I just Google it. What is your deepest fear? Holy moly. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, how are you liking my remix? I think it's great. I'm having a wonderful time. I need to stop putting out fires. They're, the rest of these trees can burn. They're good. <laughs> Everything all right over there, Google? Good afternoon. a bit deep for 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, what else do we have? Do you have a hidden talent? Did you come here from work? <laughs> what are these conversation topics? One of them just says party. <laughs> Thanks, Katya. <laughs> what is your deepest fear? Where did you grow up? Did you come here from work? Party. <laughs> hmm. Casual conversation topics. Oh, man. My fear is heights. How's your Stardew Farm going? I haven't played recently because I got started with um, Pokemon. When I got the Pokemon uh, cartridges and a Game Boy working, um, I'm pretty deep in Pokemon Sapphire. So any time that I have for that, any time I have for like a me time game has been going into that instead. What are your thoughts on party? <laughs> it's one of my favorite drag race clips ever. I know it's like one of everybody's favorite drag race clips, but I don't care. Who's your starter? Uh, for, so I'm playing Pokemon Ruby right now. Um, and I picked Torchic. And I think for Pokemon Gold, which is next on my list, I have that cartridge too. With a replaced battery, so it works and everything. I'm going to do Cyndaquil. Um, I almost always do either the fire or the grass starter, depending on the generation. I pretty much never do the water starter, unless I'm just, like, I've been playing the games a lot and I want to mix it up for fun. Survivors? Rescues? Any survivors? Oh, maybe you. you you're fighting, but you look, a little, you look a little nervous about it. You look like your deepest fear is a Gormali Raider. <laughs> Playing some Pokemon Emerald on my Game Boy Player recently, too. I have a confession. I love Stardew, but I never get past the first year because I obsess over doing everything perfectly and gathering the bundles as soon as physically possible. Gold or heart gold? Actual gold. Original gold. Chikorita definitely makes gold harder. <laughs> but it's so cute! It's such a, such a cutie pie. Well May the mists protect you. That's it. Can't watch anymore. <laughs> Mm. Or more. Maybe in the house or something? Any. Oh, there you are. Can you get all cosmetics and remix in one character? Yes. Uh, you, you absolutely can. You don't need to level a second character if you don't want to. Remember the old Mind Flame videos? Vaguely? Um, vaguely, yeah. Ended my Pokemon adventures after Soul, Soul Silver, my old DS Lite. <laughs> Sad week that was. I had just been dying to play Gen 2 again. I really wanted to play Gold, but I didn't have a DS anymore. Um, they haven't re-released them on Switch. I didn't want to emulate. Um, I didn't want to get. I didn't want to use an emulator, but I was like, re I really wanted to play those games. And uh, my partner got his brother to send them like one of their old Game Boys, and then like a selection of cartridges. And then the battery was out, like the, the gold cartridge was completely not functional. But we found someone that does battery replacements and just got like one that had a fresh battery in it. <laughs> oh, I got gold again. That was my favorite Pokemon game as a kid. I put so much time into it. Get to his peak. 
I can't believe that I didn't remember that Gen 2 didn't let me choose to be a girl. Gen 3 does. In Ruby, you can you can be a girl or a boy. Although I thought it was funny that your rival becomes the the opposite the opposite gender. It's either Brendan or May, depending on what you pick. And Brendan is all like, Oh man, when I heard that Gym Leader's kid was moving in next door next door, I thought you'd be a boy. Well, I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Like he's he's very like <laughs> He's, he's very confident and a little brash and like trying to show off. And meanwhile, if you ha if you make a male character and then May becomes your rival, she's all like, I want to make friends with Pokemon all over the world. <laughs> like she's she's a she's a very different character. And I thought that was very funny that it actually like changes dialogue options in the game. Crystal lets you choose to be a girl. Mm, maybe that's what I was getting confused about then because I did have crystal and gold as a kid because I had allowance money and I just I wanted to buy a new Pokemon game but I was a kid and I did not understand that crystal was just a re-release of Gen 2 I did not know that um, I just thought I love Pokemon I buy a new Pokemon game came home with crystal and then was like wait this is the same game but then like I already had it so I played a bunch of it Ever play the JavaScript game, Pokemon Ghost and Steel? No, never. Um... There we go. There we go. Got farmers to set free over here. May is so sweet. Silver is the most edgy Pokemon character. Favorite game for me was Pokemon Platinum. Went to GameStop on day one when it launched. Hmm. I'm very excited to replay Gold. Although I'm playing on the Game Boy that we have is a Game Boy Advanced SP. It's like a little, it folds like a flip phone, and it's got this little square screen. And it, but it is technically a Game Boy Advance, so it can totally run regular Game Boy cartridges. But because it was playing them in widescreen, but it's also kind of like a small Game Boy. When you put in a regular Game Boy cartridge on it, the screen is like, it's like postage stamp sized almost. It's very small. Um, it's playable, but I'm going to have to, <laughs> I'm going to have to get really into it, I think. I've got talents to spend. Hmm. Which part of Pandaria is the landfall achievement tied to? I think those are the reps and the patch content that was added in, that's like down here-ish, I think. Domination point, that kind of thing. We do have talents to spend. I love my perfect square Game Boy. I had the dark red one. GBASP has been on the same charge for like 20 years just sitting in the storage. Yeah, having a backlight is pretty sweet. That's pretty good. It gets around my the old need to have uh, when I had a Game Boy Color, I had one of those little gooseneck lights that plugged into the USB port that you could use to light up the screen. I used to take it into my backyard and try to play my Game Boy outside in the summer because my mom would be like, "Go outside," and I would be like, "Okay," and I would take my Game Boy um, and obey the letter of the law, not the spirit, and I would go outside and I would try to find some place that I could like play Pokemon. But when it's, you know, summer and it's, like, sunny, there's a fair amount of glare and it's kind of hard to see the screen. Character you're playing as a wicked stoop, is that something you can change if you wanted? No. <laughs> he's, a, he's a male troll. They're, they're close to the earth. <laughs> he stands up when he's doing his, his uh, casting animation, but then when he's, when, he's, when he's hanging out, he looks like me. And then when he's like idling and he sits, he looks even more like me. This is how I fish, by the way. <laughs> if I'm out on the shore and I'm fishing, this is my posture um, because I'm too lazy to stand, but I need the traction of my feet to keep me up. So I, I, I do a little of this action. Good sun angle on my front porch. They may be weighed down by health of their too. <laughs> Trolls have shrimp DNA. I love when my male troll casts Chaos Bolt. Because he does it like over by his knee, right? Like he holds his arms below him. Oh, we've got so many of these boxes. Open them! Any big, big upgrades? 
worry about it too much. How are we doing? We only have two more things remaining for the campaign achievement. Heading this way. Getting other classes' abilities makes for twisted RP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love that female Zandalaris have a silly that's basically dragging the, the Dark Spear guys for slouching. <laughs> I don't know if I knew that. I need this rare. There it is. I need it. This is for an achievement. It's very important. So you tireless spirit, and then you can just cast a bunch of devouring plague, <laughs> and then it's uh, gonna take a lot of damage. It's great. Haha! -ha! So that gives me my elusive foes achievement for the Jade Forest, which is fantastic because that means that I am really close to this tour of the Jade Forest achievement. I just need to I just need to go a few more places. Let's actually fly south and see if we can finish that. What makes the Zandalari superior? Two words. Good posture. This game is going to do a number of my obsession with keeping clean empty bags. Yeah, I'm just toting around all the gems with me. Even if I'm not using them, I'm just I'm just keeping them in my bags. I figure there's a certain point where I'm just going to have them all and that there's, you know, there's like a limited amount of them that's going to overwhelm me. Wonder if they have the special hunter pet quests in this. Oh. We did it! We got the toy! We got the toy! Let's check it out! Let's check it out! So, I did the Jade Forest achievement, and I got a Cherry Blossom Trail. So, this is a toy that you would get, like all things in Remix. You get it for Dragonflight as well. It's just part of your toy thing. Walk a Cherry Blossom Strewn Path. So, it's a 10 minute buff on a 10 minute duration. And this is what it looks like. It gives you like, like a glowy green path. <laughs> I didn't realize that the blossoms were gonna be like wind blown. Like they're flying everywhere. <laughs> that is cute. I thought it would be more like, um, like the old TCG consumable items that would give you like the, the little like green grass trail. I thought it would be like that, but pink, but this is cool too. I like that a lot. Maybe my priest will use that. I feel like Inksy will get drowned by that. Like, they're going to be just, like, firing over her head. It looks absurdly windy. It is. It, they are blowing around, like, a lot. That is true. Hmm. Don't like the green trail. I wish it was just the petals. Yeah. It does look a bit... It looks really bright when you're flying. <laughs> Uh, they don't change in shadow form. Exactly the same. My shadow trail is kind of mixing with the, the green trail, but... The green trail's a lot. <sighs> I just like that it's got, like, a pretty high uptime. And I like that I have it now. Although I'm still going to finish this campaign achievement because... I'm really close. <laughs> and it's going to be good for a uh, greater bronze cash. Bunch of, bunch of bronze for that. I wonder if after that, if I'm going to be, like, out of things to do in this zone nothing and finally ready to, like, move on. Fear nothing. The horde shall prevail. What time is it? It's 10.17 already. <laughs> time really flies in this mode. Hey, Tracy, thank you for the 23-month resub. Doing this last hurrah content in Season 4 reminds me of what I spent about 15 minutes of when I spent about 15 minutes choosing between Wrathy and Rebellion because I thought the decision would actually matter. Keep up the great work, Hazel. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks. How does one toggle dynamic flying? It is not available yet. When the War Within prepatch comes out, which has not happened yet, there will be a button on your mount journal. It'll be right around here-ish, and that will do like a five-second cast that toggles you back and forth between sky riding and regular riding. But it's not available yet, so that's why you can't do it. 
thought if I leveled up fishing, then I would be getting more and more bronze per cast. Instead, I'm getting more and more golden carp and less bronze. Oh. Maybe they're considering bronzes like the trash drop then. That's interesting. Have you brought fresh it is called time running after all. Oh. Losing motivated. Plus we're getting a bunch of reports. Gotta get Void Eruption. Rico never grouped the wicked. Well, almost never. I'm so pleased with getting the uh, the trail already. Next on the list after I finish this, this uh, zone achievement, I think, is I want to start working on the Half-Hill Farmer backpack. That's very important. Throw on the less motivated hose. And how do you guys feel? Are you are you motivated? No? Yes. Okay. <laughs> do you have any lazy friends that need water buckets? Oh, there they are. There they are. It's just like a fairly short range. That's what's going on. Have you added up all the bronze you're hoping to collect? Or does that only lead to madness? <laughs> I have not done any math, and I have not looked at any add-ons that may be trying to do math for me. <laughs> I am, I already, I got three mounts yesterday that I bought off the vendor, like some new ones. Um, I'm mainly just kind of shopping for whatever I feel like whenever I'm at the vendor, and trying not to worry about it. I feel like I'll be a happier, you know, more, better adjusted person if I, if I never try and come up with the whole amount. You know, it's much more fun to be, like, halfway towards your next mount than it is to be, like, 2% of your way through everything that you're trying to get. Because there's, there's a lot of stuff out here. Five more hosing motivated. Let's see. Do you like Void Eruption more than Dark Ascension? One of those talents I can't decide on with Shadow Priest. I like Void Eruption better. It feels better to me. Part of that might be just because you get used to playing... I got used to playing Void Eruption back before they added Dark Ascension as an option. Dark Ascension also, the wording of it says that your non-periodic shadow damage is increased. And I feel like I'm more invested in my periodic shadow damage. Uh, I feel like whenever I do use Dark Ascension, I feel like I'm just doing it wrong. I don't have like a strong feeling of, oh man, this next Mind Blast is going to hit really hard. Like it's just, it just kind of feels like a nothing button. So I, I usually take whatever the build wants me to. You know, I'm I'm not one to break from the teachings of Emperor Wowhead, but yeah, given given a choice, Void Eruption feels good, especially because it's got that eight we burst on the top of it. Sometimes I like using it just for that. Uh, any new any new hosen? You need water? You thirsty? Here you go. Cool. Nice to instant cast too. Hmm. Advice in a class to solo remix? Anything, absolutely anything that you want, but. I am excited to do one to do one hunter next. Hmm. What about Comet Star? Would you pick it over Void Eruption? I have nothing for that. <laughs> I am going to take a short break. I'll be right back. Okay, I put on the kettle because I wanted that jasmine green tea we were talking about. It sounded really good. But I don't want to like wait for the tea to get hot and then steep and everything so I'll just get up a couple of times it's alright we're not in like a raid or anything I'm not really torn but like mildly torn on whether or not I want to do the raid because on one hand like a normal raid basically because on one hand 12% XP threads per boss <laughs> daily lockout kind of makes me feel like I maybe should do it today but on the other hand, I don't want to stop and do the raid, <laughs> you know, like, it doesn't sound fun. So I think I'm not going to for the moment, but maybe I'll change my mind later. I do have the Cherry Blossom Trail toy. We just got it. Thanks for introducing me to Automatic Jack. Mm. Yeah, he's, 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 uh, he's super helpful. Raids are massive XP gain. Yeah, that's what I was saying. How goes it? Doing remix? Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Heirloom placed. You betcha. Surprised the DPSQs are quote so high in Remix considering the hype. 
Leveling's already fast, I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah. So I've already done LFR. People are saying normal raid is the thing. I guess I, did, I haven't done LFR today, I did LFR yesterday. <laughs> I don't want to do LFR again. It took so long. It gave me not much. <laughs> it's pretty useless. My cloak is currently at 43% XP gain. Shaw Fisher's Sealed. <laughs> I got Fisher's Sealant on my teeth as a kid. Alright, follow-up question. Fisher's Sealed how? Find a way to contain the horror. Alright. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's not one of them. Um... So you can start Mogushan Vault at level 25. So I definitely, I totally could do it. How's Remix treating you? It's really fun. I'm level 35. I'm leveling a Shadow Priest named Smelly Shellfish. <laughs> and I'm getting as much juice out of Jade Forest as I can before I leave. I've been doing like Cloud Serpent rep. I'm doing all the side quests. I just got the, the Jade Forest meta achievement done and I got my Cherry Blossom Trail toy. Cherry, I'm going stick on my bar for now. Cherry Blossom Trail. I mean, I guess I could like macro it into something too. One of those things you just macro into, like, your powered fortitude. Mm. And then, uh, occasionally it will be all be like, oh man, it's on cooldown, but like, yeah, sometimes it'll put it back up. What do you need for the meta achievement? So two of three achievements. So if you look at the Jade Forest, it says two of the following achievements with the Time Runner. I did the Looking for Group achievement, which needs you to do Temple of the Jade Serpent and then the two Jade Forest scenarios, Greenstone Village and Brewing Storm. As well as the other achievement that I did was the, um, the Tour of the Jade Forest, which was doing three rares, uh, two treasures, and then the last one was... Uh, Three rares, two treasures, and then exploration. So that was pretty easy. The other thing that you can do as an option, if you wanted to skip one of those two things, is you could also do, like, finish Order of the Cloud Serpent. Um, that would take a couple days worth of dailies, it seems like. I am, I've been doing everything that I have access to, and I am over halfway through Revered, but I'm definitely not done yet. I heard my kettle, so I'm just going to real quick. The real trick is going to be remembering... To um to take the tea to the tea leaves out of the tea, cause that was the thing that I forgot to do yesterday, and then my tea was like an hour steep before I remembered. So tea cup. Hey, you wanna see it? I got this one at a local uh like farmer artisan crafting crafting market. It's uh handmade. I've got a I've got two of these in like different colors with like different glazes on them. <laughs> my tea cup. It's pretty big, <laughs> so you want to have your tea be pretty hot in there if you want it to stay hot, cause otherwise it gets cold. But it's free. And then water here. Spawn rate in rares and treasures? That's a great question. I found a few of them without having to look too hard, but I don't have any data on spawn rates. Do Zandalari trolls get more bronze from the racial and remix? I don't think so. That would be that would be crazy. That would be a lot. It's a beautiful cup. Tea leaves are just extra fiber. I do have like a, a stainless steel basket that sits in the teapot to contain the tea leaves from the tea. So I'm not eating them no matter what. But the longer you leave them in there, the more bitter it gets. Although apparently I don't care enough to actually set a timer. I am going to look up this quest before I drive myself crazy. Mm-hmm. 31 comments. This is a bombing quest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That's good to know. I'm going back up to the quest giver. Fly with me. She wants to hit the statue. You'll see gray smoke coming out. Press one. Click on them. Okay. That I did not get. <laughs> there we go. That's the missing piece. Did the same thing. Have to ride the red serpent. Yeah. <laughs> that helps a lot. Do you want the script that opens your dragonfly talents? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Got stuck the same way yesterday. There we go. Did you bomb this quest? No, 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 no. We're acing it. 
This is great. I found that Horde was actually easier than Alliance for Jade Forest playthrough because I think I like the Horde vehicle quests better than the Alliance ones. The ones where you're following like the story of the people that crashed into the forest. Although maybe that's just because I was paying more attention. Like I had voice acting on, so they were talking about the things that they wanted to do and I wasn't getting like lost and confused as much. Last time I tried to do it, I'm pretty sure I was like watching a YouTube video at the same time, like an unrelated one <laughs> and uh, was just frequently getting lost because I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Friend had a bug in this exact quest yesterday. Oh no. Did the normal raid, 12% XP threads per boss, half a level, tons of blue drops. Yeah. That's what people are saying. I was discussing it earlier. It seems like it's a good idea. I just don't really want to. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun questing and doing the raid sounds like it would be like, I don't know, not as fun. Oh, there he goes. <sighs> I think it's a good idea for efficiency's sake, but you know, it's a big event. We got lots of time. There's n nothing says we have to do it all perfectly. Plus, I think I would have more fun in the raid later on with more talents. I know I don't need them, but it's I feel like I would have a, a nicer time. I feel like I have more to do, more buttons to press. All right, here we go. Shaw Remnants. This is my last questing, questing hub. My last little spot of questing for the Jade Forest campaign. Do it once for the XP threads. Back to chilling and questing. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll feel I'll feel like doing it eventually. Am I sure? I bet you I'll feel like doing it eventually. Okay. I'm excited about uh I'm excited about Valley of the Four Winds. That's that's my next stop after this. I guess I can look and see if I've finished like every achievement that I want out of Jade Forest, but I mainly want to just keep questing. I did pick up these daily quests that are like do a scenario, do a dungeon, do two raid bosses. Maybe that's a later me problem. Let's just hide them and then we won't, <laughs> won't have anything to worry about. I'm level 35. I wonder how high I'm going to get today. Make sure to unlock and do dailies for Cloud Serpents while you're there. Way ahead of you. Already done. I did some uh, I did some Cloud Serpent stuff off stream yesterday and I did the dailies first thing this morning. I am not exalted with them, but I'm 13.2 through revered. I think another day or two worth of dailies and that'll be done. Although, now that I have... One of the reasons I was doing it was for the zone meta. And now that I have the zone meta done, I'm still... I think I'm still going to do it. I think it'll be a good source of bronze. Plus, I, I have this this unreasonable desire to do everything. Don't need any of those. Githern, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it very, very much. What else? Not there. What else is in the achievement window that I really wanted want to do for Jade Forest? I think I want to start working on the on the the half hill farmer backpack. It's too good. Don't get me wrong. We want to do all of it, but you know. Everything in good time. Landfall, heroic dungeons, etc. I mean, doing all the raids on normal for the amulet also seems pretty good. Do I want to do it first, though? Don't mean to burst the bubble, but half hill is a bizarre now. Mm-hmm. I know. I get why they didn't do the farm. It was such a trade skill material focused thing. Maybe it just didn't compress very well in a world where you didn't really need any of that stuff. Especially without any like cooking or anything. 
not feel so completable compared to Dragonflight. Yeah. Oh, I see. You can still do the scenario, but we want farm. I know. And it's true that there's a there is a form of farm coming in War Within. But I have a sneaking feeling it's not going to be what I want it to be. I think that what my soul is telling me is that I just need to do more gardening, like, <laughs> in real life. Or, you know, like, plant some flowers in Animal Crossing, or just, you know, give play some more Stardew Valley. <laughs> go, go back, go back and finish that, finish that save. Rico One, thank you for the 27-month resub. That's what I was looking forward to the most. Mm. I know, I spent a lot of time doing the farm. I actually, that was one of the closest times I've ever come in WoW in my entire time playing to burning myself out was the Pandaria farm because I had alts and I wasn't afraid to use them. <laughs> and I didn't really have anything else going on, like both in my life and also in, in game. I wasn't PvPing, I wasn't raiding, I wasn't really part of a guild that was doing anything. So I was just leveling characters and, and grinding the farm for gold. And I burned myself out pretty good. I remember taking a break from WoW for almost like a patch or two and playing, I think, a Dark Souls. I think that was my Dark Souls 2 era. I think I played a bunch of Dark Souls 2 instead because I just didn't want to look at it anymore after a while. I am not I quite finished these. Guide you. I heard Dog is coming along too. Mm. I did hear that, or at least I saw the WoW in the headline. I didn't find it in Alpha yet. Although, Alpha... <laughs> I know a little a little forgotten for me at this particular moment because remix is really exciting but um, they've opened up all the zones in like the, the whole 70 to 80 leveling so at some point I do want to dig into that too <sighs> I don't know why I'm a I have a tendency to overuse someday I have not played Sunhaven do you know if druids will get two separate forms for each flight mode nah you're stuck with the toggle button Get your hands in some real dirt. Get some flowers. I I have I have my balcony's pretty pretty loaded. I've got I've got plants. I've got my raspberries and my strawberries and my rosemary and my lavender and my maple trees and some flowers. I got sweet peas and I got dianthus and I got I I got some stuff. <laughs> I've got some stuff. I don't even know what it is. I planted a mystery perennial flowering seed mix from the Bouchard Gardens, and they came up and some of them survived the winter. And now they're all big and leafy, and I don't even know what kind of flowers are going to come out of them. I need to find one more of those big guys. Yeah, you. What a year to be a WoW player. Right there with you. Leveling alt is just my thing. Might just crank out 70s for the next three months. I didn't... I was too cheap to buy a trellis for my sweet piece to climb. And I had these really smooth bamboo stakes that they had no interest in grabbing onto because they were too smooth. But then I was like, I'm going to be clever. I have this twine. I had like this really cheap sort of like just twine basically. And I was like, I'm going to make a trellis. So I was like tying it across multiple different bamboo stakes and like wrapping it to give the uh, the sweet pea something to hold onto. And I felt pretty crafty. <laughs> oh, there we go. Jade campaign. Up jade. Complete. Completed all of the jade forest storylines by Shellfish. We got a greater bronze cache with a thousand bronze in it. That doesn't hurt one bit. Also, heroic leap. Hey, look at that. I've had, I've had a... <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> She's like, get out of here. <laughs> the, uh, the Valley of the Four Winds awaits. <sighs> if I do, oh, my tea! If I do this, do I have to change my stream title? <laughs> Stardew, but with pretty zones and dragons. Same new farmer pixel level tunes vibe. Something you might like. I think part of what I love about Stardew Valley is that it is Stardew Valley, though. Like, I like the character and the story and the writing and just, like, the the heart and soul that Concerned Ape put into it. And I think that's the reason I haven't been able to even stomach trying Dreamlight Valley, is it feels like everything that the story of Stardew was satirizing, except that it's, like, eaten its lunch. <laughs> but I'm just being close-minded. Bronze cash is for LFR. We sit every day. <laughs> Okay, I got jasmine green tea. <laughs> I've got my panda, my panda poster on the wall. And 
I guess we're moving on. <laughs> I think, I think unless I want to stick around and do like scenarios. I might do like a scenario. I don't know. Edward Payne. Yeah, there we go. Do like one random, random time running scenario. I haven't tried any heroic scenarios. I'd probably be better equipped to do it now because I have better gear, but this will also, I think this will also work. Let's go to the bazaar and see if there's anything. I've got 7,200 bronze right now. I guess I can also sort out my gear as well. Do something with unwanted gems, just throw them out. I have been just holding on to them. Um, I don't know if there's a... What have you guys been doing with them? Have you been deleting them? I'm afraid if I delete them, they're just going to drop for me again. <laughs> and I figure if I just leave them in my bags, then I can maybe ignore them. Never did a scenario. What are they like? It's basically like a three-man dungeon, but it's a little bit less uh, linear. You know, like there might be different stages of the event where you have to do different tasks to kind of progress it along. Can you scrap them? You can scrap some gems, but not others. Um, let me see. I'm not throwing out anything. Leveling seemed faster than it was on PTR. Absolutely, 100%. So I can scrap the prismatic gems, and that's it. I cannot scrap tinker or cogwheel gems. Or meta gems. Um, and prismatic gems are kind of the only ones that I don't want to scrap. Because <laughs> they're the ones that you, can com that you can combine together to get like bigger versions. You can triple them. Wondering what they give. Mm. What are you guys doing with the green items? You're getting questing? Those you can scrap. So you use this bronze egg ability, this unraveling sands, and it summons this sands portal. And then you can put unwanted um, gear into it and it'll turn it into bronze for you. All right. Oh, I don't think I've done this one yet. Assault on Zenves. You could have three healers, be fine. It's world agnostic. It might be a little slow with three healers, but yeah, you can you can play tank, heal, DPS, whatever it is that you like, and you can get it done with whatever. Hmm. Destroy sonic control towers. Oh, starting with like a bombing run. So my my X button pr protects my my plane from incoming missiles. I don't remember this at all. I didn't do too many scenarios back during MOP. I did a few of them when leveling, and I think I didn't worry about it much after that. There's no bank, right? I was going to say, what if we could um, just put unwanted, like, cogwheel and tinker and meta gems into your bank? But I don't I don't know if there... I guess maybe there's one in the in town. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried. There is a bank in Vale. Does that work? Have you guys been doing that? Or are you guys just carrying them around? Hey, how you doing? I seen you around here before. Buy thirty six slot bags for ten bronze. Oh. But we have thirty six slot bags, like on already. They're they're like auto equipped. Oh, to put in your bank. Oh, that makes sense. Tried to bring new players in with me. Remix is too meta to teach. I think it might be more... Like, it's a little... I get what you're saying, but I feel like it might be more accessible than Dragonflight. <sighs> Putting all the unwanted stuff in there. Okay. Oh, that was it. Not paying enough attention. <laughs> this shaman is from a guild called Power Word Funk. <laughs> Juggling the gems was confusing to me. Yeah, I, I find I find the gem, managing gems is definitely like the fussiest thing. There is an add-on called Remix Gem Helper that puts them into an interface a little bit like the SOD rune. But I don't know if it would be enough to fix the problem. I haven't been, I, I installed it, but I haven't really been relying on it just yet. Elrithir, thank you for the 58-month resub. Hi, I'm new here, watching a stream for the first time for the drops. Yep. <laughs> Welcome. 
I hope you have a lovely time. A wonderful day. Bag and a half full of stuff unused. Mm -hmm. Big fan, thanks for telling me to really kick that. Been using your voice pack for ages. <laughs> oh, shucks. Um, bronze is specific to your character, I believe. I don't think it's shared across characters, but all the things that you buy are, so it doesn't really matter where you, where you earn it, as long as you're earning it in amounts large enough to spend. That guild's in my server group. I see people from there running around sometimes. One of my favorite things about having a hot drink on my desk is just being able to warm up my fingers on it. I did, like, buy electric hand warmers. I have them, and they work good, but there's something just cozier about doing it with a cup of tea. The Jade Forest achievement gives you the Blossom Toy. It's called the Jade Forest. You need to do two of three possible achievements. And it gives you the, uh, the Blossom Trail toy. Which has a lot of green mist going on with it. Looks nice, though. It's not even cold today. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Apparently, my my hands are capable of getting cold in the middle of summertime. Um, even on hot days, if I'm indoors and it is under like 24 degrees Celsius, I am my extremities will occasionally just get really cold. I'm just one of those people. Move your feet makes me move more than a blaring horn. <laughs> I don't remember anything about what I said or sounded like in that pack, and that's probably for the best. Living AZ I'm freezing right now. Do I have to do all the quests in every armor type? Will they get unlocked? You you can buy everything that you buy, you can learn even if you can't wear it. Um, I don't think that the war within method of acquiring gear from quests specifically, but the quests aren't giving gear anyways. Like it's it doesn't really matter. The quests are giving remix gear. I guess the answer is you can buy it all in one character. Download DBM just to get this pack. Always cool indoors, live in Florida, still cold in my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes and goes. I've made my peace with it. I've always been like this, so it's not like there's anything new that's dramatically wrong with me. It did take me a while to accept the reality that there's no such thing as a sweater that was warm enough for me to be like never cold. <laughs> Sometimes if you get really cold, you just have to like a hot beverage or like a hot shower. Or exercise, you know, heaven forbid, gasp. <laughs> Sometimes it comes to that. But it's mainly just when I'm gaming. Because if I'm not gaming and I'm relaxing, I'm usually able to cocoon myself like an egg. Oh, that's it. That's the whole scenario. Thank you. And we're out of here. from Wisconsin. Please take your heat back. I prefer the cold. I think I really love, one of the things I really love about the place that I live is that we get really distinct and dramatic seasons. Um, I'm sure there are some places where they are more dramatic, but you get like a real summer and a real winter in that they are distinguishable from each other. <laughs> it's not one of those spooky places like Southern California where it's just kind of always vaguely 74 and sunny. Um, you know, like, it, the weather gets really beautiful for a while, and then the weather gets, like, really windy, and it gets really rainy, and it gets really cloudy, and it gets really cold, and, you know, you get you get all kinds of different flavors. You get something different every day. Sometimes you get something different, like, four to five times in a day. <sighs> um, can the vendor items drop so you can save on the bronze? Is it only a buy? It is, I believe, only a buy in Remix, but a lot of those things that are on the vendors are things that you, that you can get, like, normally in, like, regular mop. If it's South Africa, we have four summers. The warrior in front of me named Shrekening. I too refuse to leave the Jade Forest for a while. I think I'm out of things to do in it. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm out. Oh, there's another hood. Alright, let me put on my finest item levels of stuff. Better gloves. 90. I'm not really spending bronze to upgrade things right now. I'm just kind of putting on the best stuff that is dropping for me. My staff is 69. I have a main hand off hand that is better. Okay, so now 
let's get rid of all that stuff and then redo the gems. <laughs> yeah, people are saying that you can use the bank in Veil of the Eternal Blossoms. I haven't been yet, so my bag is just kind of filling up a little bit. Okay. Oh, man. Get one of these yummy haste gems. Hi, kitty cat. How you doing? You want to say hi? On, you want to say hi on big screen? Hi. You're so sweet. <laughs> Your purse. <laughs> nice staff. It would be a shame if something happened to it. Kitty wants to be famous too. I think she's the real draw here, and we both know it. Okay, so clean up, auto sort these things, and put tireless spirit back in. My best prismatic gems are this haste one. We're kind of coming up on getting like an even better crit one going. Let's do cr haste and crit. And then we've got... Reminding myself of my best tinker gems. Windweaver, which is currently... It's currently socketed into my shoulder. So I've got Windweaver and Grounding in right now. Um, in Kinda Lightning Rod Wildfire. I have Wildfire. Good. Did I get in Kindle? No. Lightning Rod? No. Um, explosive Barrage, surely. Yeah. Pop those guys in. And then we have another two. Brittle. If I have it. And then failing that, just any Tinker Gems that we really want to try. And then these are prismatic sockets again. Let's do a speed and leech. That sounds like fun. I have a yeah rank three armor gem, but who wants armor? <laughs> no chance it was on purpose. Your shirt is fitting. Big things happened for the Timberwolves NBA team last night. Oh, congratulations to congratulations to them and their fans. <laughs> Very nice standard issue cap. <laughs> I haven't tried Heroic. I'm too scared. I've heard it's very hard. I've heard it it murders people. Although I haven't tried it since, like, in testing at low levels, it was basically impossible to even do Heroic Dungeons. But I'm sure that with gear and stuff. <sighs> All right, we have to. We, we have to. We have to leave. We gotta get out of here. We've done everything the Jade Forest has to offer. It's time to start working on that Half Hill Farmer backpack. Let me track the achievement. Let me track the achievement. So we need to do either tour, campaign, looking for group. Looking for group is just one scenario and one dungeon. Stormstart Brewery and the Warband. So that seems pretty easy. I think I should just do that. Um, Salius is... Oh, Warband is not a scenario. It's a world boss. Oh, okay. We'll try and stumble on that then when we get in there, which means that... I could do a random dungeon and hope to get Stormstart Brewery, or I can just queue for a Stormstart Brewery. Let's just do that. I bet it'll stick me in there pretty pretty reasonably quick. Also, I haven't been holy for a while, so let's change to holy spec and maybe just, like, spend a couple talent points. You can unlock heritage armor, but you won't be able to actually do the questline and get it until after Remix ends. So you would level the character during the event and then wait until mid-August or whenever the event's over. And then you can... You can do it once the character becomes like a regular dragonflight character. So yeah, give me some mana gen and stuff. There we go. And a couple of quests. Can't hurt. Am I missing any important... So I'm still wearing all my same gems. I have Purify though, thank goodness. Finally, I can dispel. Mind Soothe. PI, pretty important. 
Leap of faith. <laughs> Dangerous to give to me. Oh no, I need my macro. I have like a regular feather button and it's terrible. There we go. I, I like to macro my feather to cast it myself because I play video games to win, not to share. <laughs> what do I look like, a nice person? Wrecked Dungeon's pretty brutal. One day. <laughs> One day I'll step into them. I'm hoping to like wildly overpower them by the time I actually try them. I think that's my plan. I mean, Dispriest myself. Very nice. I like that because I'm replacing my gear so often, the Murloc onesie outfit that I mocked him into has all been changed out with the main exception of the cloak because you don't replace the cloak, you upgrade it. So that is still mocked to the little Murloc backpack. If we get the Hatfield Farmer backpack, we'll change it out for that for sure. Been doing heroic dungeons since level 20. Top damage is actually insane with Holy Nova. Okay. Mm. Should I check my. Is it just Holy Nova? Yes. <laughs> Padding! <laughs> oh, my talent points. Are you gonna buy the Murloc onesie? Oh, it's been done. <laughs> I uh, I spent I dropped like 270k on a token yesterday. 270k gold for a token for Bnet balance, and it turned out that with tax I had almost the exact amount, but not quite the exact amount. So they got me. I gave them five dollars of real money to uh, to cover the difference because I didn't have enough gold for another token, and I feel like I should leave myself not like a lot of gold, but you know maybe something. One of the Dreadlord Regalia missed my chance to buy it. I'm gonna be honest. I always want you to be honest. I'm loving doing normals to level. <laughs> five dollars of real money. I know it could have been five dollars I could have gotten to keep or save or something, but <laughs> here I am with a Murloc backpack. Is that a Murloc on your back? Are you just happy to heal me? <laughs> Goodness. I wonder why it's telling me I have unspent talent points when I... Oh, maybe the PvP talent points? That can't be it, right? Maybe it is. Just pick anything just to make that notification go away. <sighs> Could have gotten enough bait to eat for a week. <laughs> um, you'd think. <laughs> It's actually pretty expensive. <laughs> oh, might not need to spend real money if you don't spend your gold down to zero all the time. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I don't think scenarios are cross-faction. It's been putting me in horde groups. I believe. Oh, holy no. So, what do, so we just spam it, eh? We just... <laughs> that's, that is the button. Unless, heaven forbid, somebody needs me to actually heal them. <laughs> That's kind of cool, being able to give everybody tireless spirit. Wish they had more fishing and more within. Maybe turn the legendary fishing pole into a new quest line. Let's keep it. I liked all of the extra fishing activities that we had access to in the Tuscar areas and reps in Dragonflight. I had fun doing the fishing nets and the fishing holes and the, the lunkers and the hooks and the parpoon. I thought all that was great. I did so much of it early and like the, the coins of good fortune and stuff that by the time that the Mer not the Merlock, pardon me, the otter came out auto and you needed to have the sunglasses I like already had them oh I got a new cogwheel gem I can't pick a mount 
What's this? Are they? What are they doing to our elemental? They grow really big carrots out here. Hey, hey, you! Those are our flying spear monsters. I can't believe I've never played a male dark spirit troll, dark spirit troll before. I have a male Colt I have a male Night Elf. I have a male Blood Elf. You know. <laughs> I've been I've been missing out. These animations are great. Plus he just looks like fun, you know? He looks like a fun dude. I'm a bear dude, and I just got roll. Does the bear do a roll? Are you saying you're gonna do a barrel roll? <laughs> Choose your answer carefully, the it will matter. <laughs> I uh, created a male void elf with the red eyes. I dress him like a vampire. Shadow priest, of course. Mm. Excellent. I got turned around. This way? No. That way. <laughs> Don't mind me. Thread with plus 30 movement speed from Cogwheel. Holy smokes. Never been so fast in my life. I was feeling pretty fast until I ran the wrong way and I fell behind in a dungeon. <laughs> Kitty cat. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. What do you think of the new office? Any good? Yeah. Yes. 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 So close. Just a pinch of fruit. Are these two different Pandarans? Oh, they're from the same. Okay, they're from the same guild. I was like, did, they did these guys independently customize themselves into the exact same transmog? Hi, Miss Kira. Bye, Miss Kira. <laughs> See you later. I'm a mage with roll. Anyone for mage rolls? <laughs> oh, man. Today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm making a homemade pizza. I think she's trying to get me to follow her, but it's not time yet, Kitty. It's only 11 o'clock. I get to play Remix for one more hour. <laughs> I can't stream late today. I um, kind of want to, again, because it was really fun yesterday and because uh, I feel like I could play Remix all day. But tomorrow's Saturday. I got to get a news video together. I didn't do last week. So I need to I need to make sure I get one out so that people know I didn't just quit them. A microwave pizza. Seems I have D&D tomorrow evening, finally, after two weeks. Oh, nice. That will be wonderful. I thought I was being so cool Never. taking Blink. You know what? I took Blink because the guide said it was the best mobility, and I'm sure they're right. But I'm never using it. I don't remember I have it. I'm better off with something like Trailblazer that is like passive and not doesn't require me to remember to use it. I'm sure I would get around faster with that just in general. How long will stream last today? A uh, normal time, so approximately another hour until about noon Pacific. A little shy of an hour. Blink is the best. I've been telling it to you for years. They should have done TBC Lich King remix back at the end of Draenor. Free content, so good. I bet you this is not the last remix we'll ever get. I think this is the first of, the first of many. All right, I'm gonna put PI out, and Tireless Spirit at some point. All right, I already used Tireless Spirit. Can't wait for Shadowlands remix. <sighs> I'm very curious to see if I have the stamina to get enough bronze to buy like literally all of the different armor types worth of like questing sets and dungeon sets and raid sets. Cause that's like a lot of Mog that would cost a lot of bronze to get fully caught up on. But you know, it seems, it seems, it seems like a great idea. 
Imagine leveling through Sanctum of Domination. Oh no. Wish there was more time between Remix and Catalunch. Yeah, that seems like a pretty big overlap for sure, if you're trying to do both. <laughs> awesome raid. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm probably supposed to be on the bubble shields, and I'm just... I'm just spam smiting. <laughs> Smite spamming. Remix with Torghast powers. <sighs> I love Torghast. <laughs> If they ever dig that grave up again, I'm good. I'm, I'm good to go back in. Original version Torghast. There we go. Stormstrip Brewery. All sorted out and done. Excellent. Will be sung once again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Throughout Extra experience. A couple quests. Nice. Bunch of brats. And we can turn in the looking for group the looking for group quest next time I'm at the bazaar. Such a great piece of content. They have to use it again in some way. I have such fond memories of spending like four hours at a time in of that. in Torghast. Specifically Twisting Corridors. I remember spending like four hours in Twisting Corridors on my Holy Priest. Just so hopped up on that one talent that let you just bank a bunch of your healing into damage stored up for your next Holy Fire. And I would just like find traps and stand in them and heal myself and stand in them and heal myself. Like it was so cheesy and it was so fun. And you could, you could just combo it together with a few things and just make it obnoxious. And it was so fun to be like, I'm going to one-shot this boss. <laughs> I think I figured out why Remix scratches my brain just right. It's almost roguelike with the cloak because each character after the first just gets easier and easier. Oh. Yeah, and the, uh, I guess the gems too are, almost, are a little bit like that. <sighs> Finding different like cool powers that you can kind of add on. Has it already been almost four years since they released Shadowlands? <sighs> Listen, we take that fact and we hide it away. We don't look at that fact. <laughs> that is a box you shove under your bed for you to review later when you've come to peace with it. <laughs> Some things you're not ready to deal with just yet. Oh, what mounts did you buy? A couple of... Here, let me see. Remix. I bought a kite and two cranes, but I'm... Hoping slash planning to get basically all of it at some point or another. What do you need? Brew Moon Festival Protect. Here? Um, I've come to the... This is not where I want to be. <laughs> I started the wrong thing, I think. Oh yeah, that's the road to Kunlai. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I gotta go see Chen Stormstead. We got we got business. My wife was just getting over here from Brazil when Shadowlands was being dropped, staying in a hotel. Remember those days of lifting tracks and staying at the Red Roof Inn. Does all of it mean all mounts or all of everything? Mounts for sure. Uh, mounts and pets. And then after that... After that, we'll see. I don't know if I want to work on tusks. I'm not... I've never been a plate wearer. I don't think I'm ever realistically going to wear them. So if I... I'm kind of leaving it for last, and I can decide if I feel like I want to play more Remix by the time I get sort of done with everything else, I think is my plan. I am called Chen. Hi, Chen. And this is my niece, Liu. May we stay here at your farmhouse for a while? We do not have much in the way of money. But I would gladly share some of my famous ale with you. Greetings, Chen. Lily, you may stay, <laughs> but I do not need... Do your mounts and transmog go to retail now or later on? My understanding is right away. Like, it's a shared shared collection. You should be able to use the things that you buy immediately. What will there be do to do at max level in Remix? That is the question. 
Um, I think that you could certainly like continue working on like reps and raids and questing to keep getting bronze. Or you can take all of that power that you've put onto the cloak and all those cloak achievements you've gotten and you could start another character. Trinkets, necklaces, or rings. Yes. However, they're from very specific things. So if you look through the meta achievements, you'll notice you'll notice some stuff here. So for example, for rings, where did it go? Uh, doing all of the scenarios in Heroic will get you one ring, and doing all of the dungeons in Heroic will get you another one. Doing all of the raids on Normal will get you a neck piece. And those are pretty big power gains as well, because they have, as far as I understand, lots of sockets on them. So it's a good good idea to work on. I don't need details up. I've got new talent points to spend. Later on, I'll have to fix up my spec. Trinkets, necks, and rings all have three prismatic sockets if WoW had to be trusted. Mm. Are your banknotes going to have the king on them, or is Canada going to do something different? I haven't heard anything. I would assume, based on precedence, that they are going to have the king. Um, or at least coins. I think bank notes have traditionally had various prime ministers and stuff. But also, um, I don't use cash. <laughs> I haven't used cash for a long time. <sighs> so it's uh, news to me. I am not wildly invested one way or the other in the monarchy and their role in my country. It's a uh, it's like a neat bit of ornamental trivia and that's about that's about it to me. Hmm, that drops command should have worked. I wonder why I didn't. Let me try. I'm gonna go see if the bot is falling asleep. Hmm. Have you noticed gems getting deleted when you manually remove them from an item? No. I haven't. Cloud bot. How do you turn it off again? Turn it back on. There we go. Pardon me. There we go. <laughs> Charlie's fingers scare me. Oh. <laughs> I am too frightened to ask what's 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 the trouble with them. Got a tiger opal drop from a treasure chest in the Windward Isle. What happened to no crafting, Bliss? Yeah. Explain this. Uh, you are unable to pick up professions. So your profession window will still show it like this. But fishing is the only one that I think we can actually learn. There's a fishing trainer. But that's it. That's all you got. Large room. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just straight in. <laughs> I got stampeding roar. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on where the fishing trainer is. People were talking about it earlier. I haven't visited it yet. I understand by the water. <laughs> Which I know is not helpful. Yeah, Dorda, Dorda knows. Nat Piggle's still hanging in his usual place. Everyone there wants to teach you to fix. You can start doing Angler's Rep. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you said there was one. I did not remember where. Also near the farm. Okay. Sounds like a couple of places then. How's it going with Classic HC? Oh, man. I, uh, I flunked right out of that. I was really excited for it too. I want like cell phone specifically. I was really excited for it. And I, I got to 20 and I had a great time. And then I remembered that after 20, it kind of falls off a cliff. And without the like social lure of having other people that were also doing it that I wanted to compete against, I had, I, I burned right out. There was no, no air left in that balloon. Tell me of your troubles. How am I doing? 
49% is my current buff. Other one's by the river that runs by the farm town. I hope to see you again soon. This quest feels so mean. You know, they're small and they could get <laughs> they could get seriously injured. I don't know why my troll Kitty. What do you got against my rug? Kitty. Honey. You wanna come sit with me? <laughs> you don't gotta take it out of the rug. She started kneading recently, which is not like normal for her. Do you want me to get another cat tree to go in here? No, you're just in. She's just in her in her feelings. Pandaria is so pretty. Started my Shadow Priest Elf and Arachne of Bugflies. Mm. Bless you. Have you made a second character yet? No. I want to get kids, please. Hi. I want to get um to seventy first. <laughs> trying to feed the family biscuit time. Yeah, she's trying to make biscuits on the rug. It's bad enough that Moose. Uh, Likes to nibble threads out of the one in my front room. <laughs> I've learned an important lesson, which is don't get attached to your rugs if you have pets. <laughs> Particularly if any of them are young. Checked Prime Gaming on a whim and got Tomb Raider for free. Nuts. Yeah, the leveling is pretty fast. And it gets faster the more you play as well. Greetings. The slowest it'll ever be is when you start. Mm, I don't know about the Celestial Tournament. That's a good question. I hadn't heard anything. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of asking for this. Biscuits have relocated to my pants. Floyd here now? On a Friday. It is a Friday. <laughs> for once it is true. I am here looking for stolen turnips. That's what I'm doing. Is this the quest that took me like ages to do? No, that was where I was, I was painting them. I feel like I've missed picking something up because you're definitely... Uh, nah, it's the next next story after this. Played a bit, felt as fast as retail. When you first start, absolutely, yeah. The more you play, the more you stack up bonus experience onto your Time Runner's Cloak. And that's when it really starts to accelerate. Also being able to like do a ton of damage and have like a ton of power from getting your better gems helps a lot too. Sixty six now it does slow down a bit. I was wondering if the leveling cadence mirrored Dragonflight, if it would hit a bit of a wall at sixty. Because I thought that was something that had happened during testing. But I haven't made it there yet. I'm only level 37. I'm pretty proud of 37. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I named my Eye of the Legion pet Hazel in honor of the channel where I earned it. Oh. <laughs> I am choosing to be flattered that you named a pet after me. And I am going to skate right by the fact that it is a tainted, floating, disembodied eyeball. Do people fry eggs in their shell? I mean, someone must have. People are always doing wacky things to eggs. <laughs> I think if you're cooking an egg in a shell, though, you are arguably boiling it, even if you were somehow putting it on heat. <laughs> Do you know what the difference is between queuing up for heroic and normal dungeons is while leveling? Yeah, heroic dungeons truck. <laughs> heroic dungeons are way harder. I don't know much about the difference of what it gives you. I'm assuming heroic will give you more bronze. Huh, watermelons. If you were a WoW pet, which would you be? Mm. If I was a WoW pet? I don't even know if I have an animal that I would be if I was picking an animal. That's a good question.
picture Hazel as a cute little cloud serpent. Yeah, I feel like there's an argument to be made for squirrel. But I selfishly don't want it to be a squirrel. <laughs> I like squirrels, but Hello. not enough to identify with them that much. Death a lizard. The plucky duckling. Do any of you know where the hidden master lives? I am pretty sure that is the darkwing rabbit. <laughs> I would be a raccoon. Level 50, just level to 51 in 8 minutes of questing. It's so speedy. Alright, I got a watermelon, I got tofu, I got a turnip. See, our testing was good for something. I remember that you loot them up over to the side. Turnip, we should hit with average power. I would be a duck. You want them? I hope he's a baby ape. Relate to raccoons a lot. Have you done any raids yet? Waiting for max level. I did LFR yesterday. I did LFR Mogishan Vaults yesterday on stream. And it was fine. But it kinda took the steam out of me for doing raids, which is unfortunate because I feel like I sh should be doing normals. Vampiric Embrace. People are saying you do a normal raid and you get 12% XP threads per boss onto your cloak. So you can stack up a lot of XP like quite quickly. Hmm. Apparently at 104 bonus XP, raids are deaf the move. Yeah, you can raid before 70. 25 is when you can start. I have not done world bosses yet. <laughs> I'm sure I cannot solo them. Noodle stain scenario. I don't remember how that one goes. Okay, let's see if we can survive a decent sized pull. I always used to get myself killed leveling in this area doing this quest <laughs> in like in retail. Also, I wanted to switch out Blink for something else because I never remember to use Blink. You have to seek customers and cook them the right noodles. <laughs> that sounds like one of those uh, one of those games that, like those those really stressful restaurant sim games. I feel like there's just like a subset of humanity that is game devs that have trauma from working in food service, and they make games like Overcooked and uh, oh, there's another one that I have that's that's basically like that, just like increasingly hectic um, food order juggling <laughs> sims. Those games are always just like absolutely, you know, like wound tight with neuroticism and anxiety. <laughs> and leveling, loving leveling with Shadow Priest, dodging leech, and gems can give you shields. Mm. I probably should take a few more survivability gems and put them on and worry a little less about. Straight damage. What else can we get rid of here? So I wanted to pop out Blink. And maybe do... So we have all kinds of stuff. We could do roll. I think I want Trailblazer. I like it because it's movement, but it's passive. We've also got Dark Pact, Door Shadows. Pursuit of Justice is just a flat 8% movement in Mounted. Spirit Walkers is 30% anytime you've not been in combat. I think I've got a Pursuit of Justice, actually. Because that's kind of nice. <laughs> and I can't do it wrong, you know? I can't just forget to use it. My sister was obsessed with Diner Dash. I relate as a former food worker. 
If I'm just getting into Warcraft, should I start with the panda thing or regular? I think the panda thing is easier to easier to kind of get your feet wet in right now. And then once we're kind of gearing up for the War Within launch, we've got pre-patch out. That would be a good time to, like once this event ends, then you've got a character that you've got leveled up, ready to set up for the next expansion. Uh, no, I didn't destroy the gem. If you overlay it, it just pops the old gem into your bags. I'm pretty sure it's impossible to destroy the gems. Let me see. Okay, unless you actually click yes to destroying the gems, then you can destroy them. Goodbye, Leap of Faith. I hardly knew you. <laughs> but if you if you just overwrite it, um, that will not destroy the gem. I've been doing that for a while. Because, yeah, the blank gem's right here. I'm not going that way. That's not where I'm at. You can use the gem remover, but you don't have to. If you scrapped gear that has a gem in it, the gem will go to your bags. And if you lay the new gem over top of the old gem, the gem will go to your bags. The only thing that seems to get rid of them is if you actually like drag it out of your bags and delete the gem specifically. What was the most tries for you in a mail? 44,000 and something for the, the the blood tick mount from Vol... from... from Nazmir. From the blood trolls there. But Midnight was probably the most actual time invested. 400 and something dungeon runs. <laughs> so many dead blood trolls. How do I sell all the gear and stuff I'm getting? You can use your Unraveling Sands ability. This little golden egg button they give you. It summons a portal. And you can dump gear that you don't want. As well as prismatic gems that you don't want into that portal. Bear in mind that once you do that, you can't get them back. <laughs> so, you know, don't scrap anything if you want to actually use it. 44,000? Yeah. Um, something something in that neighborhood. It was upwards of 40k. Bear in mind, I was doing that in... I was not doing that solo. Those are outdoor moms. They were hyper-spawning, and it was in, like, a 2x4 group for at least, at least part of it. I did solo farm for a while because I was being really stubborn about it. But I eventually caved and, and we set up like some farming groups and did it on stream. Holding on to my armor gems in case there's an armor to damage gem. Do you think gems could be put into some sort of library? Uh, on one hand, I see what you're saying. Bag space is kind of rough. But on the other hand, you don't really need your bag space for other stuff. It's not like we're picking up profession mats or gray trash or anything like that. Um... So I'm using an add-on called Remix. What is it called? I've got a Remix Gems add-on that has an interface that organizes them for you, but uh, they do definitely sit in your bags. Trying to be extra careful whenever I move my chair since rearranging my office that my cat's not near my wheels. She had, uh, we were really good at that in the old setup, but I've moved everything and I don't want to accidentally run over a paw. Will you be using any of your bronze and mounts that are available in retail? At the risk of sounding obnoxious, I think I have all of the mounts that were available in retail already. I don't think I'm missing any. Just already have them. <laughs> now of course I'm going to look ridiculous if it turns out I am missing some bag of mine be placed it would only be put on gems yeah it would be nice to be able to mark one as gems I'm sort of getting around that by marking like one bag for equipment one for consumes um, and that way it at least takes the equipment and the consumes out of the equation Better bags with the remix version help a lot with bag organizing. Do you have a video guide for new healers? Confused about what to do for keybinds and add-ons? Would follower dungeons be good for practice? Follower dungeons are a great idea to practice. I am sure... Let me look. The best video that I've done... For healing... 
One of the auto, the YouTube autocomplete searches when you search Hazelnutty Games is Hazelnutty Games cancer. I don't have cancer. I just have short hair. Good grief. Uh, Hazelnutty Games YouTube. Um, what else was I searching? Healer mouse over. I did a guide. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, if you if Google can't find it, I need to make a new one. <laughs> Basically, what I do is in the options settings. If you search for mouse over, there's actually just a mouse over cast enable. I do this, I just turn this on, and then I use all of my healing spells by moving my cursor over a unit frame, over like the raid frames, and casting the heal in question. Any more specifics about like how the different specs and heals interact with each other is something I get from like a wowhead class guide. So I read Automatic Jack's wowhead class guide for holy priests to learn like kind of what your priorities are and whatnot. Um, but that's the very, the very basic is just, is just, uh, Get comfy with your bars, and I like using mouse over healing. I thought you said, hey, somebody game's cancelled. Oh, man. On Wednesday, I was doing Throne of Thunder before Remix, being like, why not? And Jikun and Horridon dropped, so I guess I'm done with Throne of Thunder. Holy smokes. Also, this uh, road to Kunlai keeps beckoning me like a, like a moth in a flame. Lesson in bravery this way. <laughs> Not quite done with these yet. Slow down. There we go. There's no way this watermelon survives that smack across the valley. But you hit it very gently. That counts, right? Do you have every heritage armor? No, I'm certainly missing at least Worgen. I don't know if I'm missing anything other than Worgen. I think I might have the rest of them. I don't know if I ever did Goblin. If I never did Goblin, I should certainly do Goblin. <laughs> Three Montmans left, but I'm still farming in between Remix leveling. <laughs> Unless your means still affected the hard kick, and then it definitely didn't survive. Trip Cheese, thank you very much for the three month reset. Appreciate it. Don't think I'm bluffing. I don't need some smelly old uncle to hold my hand. I forgot. Why are you so impatient? Oh, I don't need some smelly old uncle. Oh, I bet she doesn't like smelly shellfish then. <laughs> no, I will not. I'm going to abandon that quest. Uh, I'll just untrack it. But like, man, I just keep being like, oh, hey, it's nearby. I should go do this. No, they're trying to get me out of the zone. I'm not ready. I'd be pretty freaked out if Googling myself had any autocomplete suggestions. Annette SWE with a eight month reset. Thank you very much. Can do it on a class trial. Interesting. I think I would still level though. Mostly just because it's a nice excuse to level a character. <laughs> I used to have a document on my PC. I had made like a like a like a text document where I had just listed out all of the heritage armors that I did and didn't have because I couldn't remember, so I literally like made low level characters of each race and then checked their tabs individually to like look for them. So somewhere, somewhere I have a record of it. I guess while I wait for Channel Lee to show up, I can just go find it. Let me see. I'm an absolute degenerate and I run all of my files out of my screenshots folder like some kind of monster. So screenshots. Reference. Infographics. No. That's not right. <laughs> I guess I could just search this whole folder for heritage. Uh, Death Scythe, thank you very much for the four month resub. Heritage armor to do list. It is in my screenshots folder. Okay, so I finished Mechanum, Volpera, Kulturan, Zandalari, Maghar, Dark Iron, High Mountain, Lightforge, Nightborn, Void Elf, Gnome, Orc, Human, and then recently Dark Spear, Troll, 
and Drenna. That means that I am, bizarrely enough, missing Heritage Armor for Dwarf. Oh, no, hang on. We did Blood Elf. Do I not have regular Torn Heritage Armor? Yeah, I guess not. Dwarf, Goblin, Worgen, and Torin. So I guess that is one thing that I could consider. Is if I am trying to keep... That is one thing I could consider in Remix. Is if I'm leveling future characters. Maybe a Dwarf, Goblin, Torin. What if I just didn't have them all, you know? Ron Wynn, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. And... Bitter Zex with a two month three sub. Thanks, guys. Wow, you guys nearly got a hype train rolling. Holy smokes, just in the middle of the stream, nobody's business. Gamer down, thanks for the brand new sub. They should have introduced Panda Heritage Armor 3 mix. Mm. Yeah. Panda Armor would be kind of cool. Um, I, What if Chen and Lily got lost on the road and uh, I need to go back and find them? They must be on their way. They don't need me, right? <laughs> Did they despawn? I'm going to feel bad if they despawned. Great minds drink alike. Like the dwarf farmer makes my paladin feel like a king under the mountain. I was very surprised to see that I didn't have dwarf farmer. Although that list also said that I didn't have um, another one that I know I definitely went back and did. Yeah, I must have lost him. Or maybe I just never asked them to leave. <laughs> That's probably it. All right. I'll escort them properly. There's the hype train. Earth Dweller Derek, thank you very much for these seven month reset. Glad to have you here, Derek. My favorite thing about returning to WoW is returning to these lovely streams. Aw. Big despawn happened to me too. I need to make a troll that can use the sword from it. I was reading on WoWhead that you don't even earn the sword if you did the Heritage Armor quest line in a class that can't use it. And uh, now I'm kind of bummed out because I don't. I don't know. I did it on the Hunter. You'd think Hunters could use anything. Ryok, thanks for the bits. Hype trade. Mm. What is your metagem? I am using Tireless Spirit because for Shadow, it lets you just spam Devouring Plague. It's pretty good. The Bizarre Quests are daily. That was fixed. Weird. I did mine on a Hunter and got the 200. Oh, the thing about the thing. Okay. So so if I log back in now, I would have it. Should have earned it. I did, but I'm also survival. Okay. I won't worry about it then. Missed out on Mog? Apparently, apparently fixed. Which is good. I wouldn't want to have to do it again. Thanks, Fountain Encoded. Um, I'm looking at this Heritage Armor to-do list. Am I really missing Dwarf? A leveling a Goblin would be super fun. <laughs> I don't want a Worgen or a Torrent. I just, I just don't. <laughs> Uh, the meta gem that I'm using is called Tireless Spirit. It is a raid-wide cooldown. Gives party members within 40... I guess a party-wide cooldown. Party members within 40 yards Tireless Spirit for 5 seconds, which reduces the resource cost of abilities by 100%. It makes them free. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Miss... Oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna say Jif. Thank you. Appreciate it very, very much. I'm so sorry. You just have to log back into the character you did the quest on. Okay. Leveling my first Shadow Priest. Mm. I got the tip off about the Devouring Plague thing from... Wowhead has a page for basically each spec about what your best remix gems are to look out for. And they were saying that this is this is like a prime meta gem for Shadow Priest. Although you also... Funeral Pyre is pretty good too. But I like this one. Yellow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, uh, uh -huh. Do we know how many infinite power achievements there are? I think I just earned nine. I think. Just hit 70. Nice. Congratulations. I am 39 and a half. The zone is so bright and pretty. <laughs> Getting the Goblin Armor once Remix is done? That's gonna be what I level. Mazio plays, thanks for the bits. Joining the hype train. Appreciate it. So, am I gonna play Goblin Hunter then? I guess I could remake my bank alt, actually. <laughs> so 
So I have this bank hole and I haven't used it for actual like auction house posting in a long time because I am, I have a Brutosaur. So I can just post auctions on any character anytime. I don't need to send them all. Like as long as I can mount up, I can post auctions and I have a mailbox toy. So I don't even need to be anywhere near a city. So for ages, the only purpose of my goblin bank alt was to be kind of like a stashing ground for BOA gear, like the Primalist gear, for example. So I've mailed her tons of that. It's just sitting in her bank. And I really don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Cat and Tats, thank you very much for the five month reset. Level three trade. Appreciate it, guys. Goblin Mech Hunter, go Hazel. 12 infinite power, you'll be done when you get some toys. Okay. At that point, is it. At that point. Oh, is somebody fighting Galleon? Should I be fighting Galleon? Can I get it together a group to fight Galleon? He's up. <laughs> you know, that seems good. Anybody do custom groups? I'm going to be disappointed and possibly litigious if this cloak of infinite potential caps out at some point. <laughs> what I'm wondering is if after 12 infinite power, not that your cloak would cap on the character that on which you're wearing it, but that your cloak might, like that might be the extent of how many, how much power you're able to share with your second character to start with kind of thing. Because it looks like that's how, it looks like getting those infinite power achievements is how you level up the amount of power that you share. That's my interpretation of it. Yeah. So I guess, I mean, I still want to get to 70 my first character before I try and do another one. But maybe I wouldn't need to do it for the sake of the alt's cloak. Maybe I would just be doing it for the sake of getting, I don't know, <laughs> to 70. do today 40 40 sounds good that's 10 levels for my three hour stream oh <sighs> maybe tomorrow i'll do i'll see if i can get into a normal raid and maybe that'll accelerate me how long did it take to get 5k bronze mm. i don't know if i know i've been kind of spending it as i go i've definitely earned so my total played for this character, this isn't going to help you too much, but my total played is eight hours. And I've earned somewhere in the neighborhood of 16 to 17k bronze so far within that eight hours. Um, because I know I spent like 6k-ish yesterday on mounts and stuff. And I'm sitting on almost 10k now. Random Richard, thanks for the 46 month reset. What, what did you buy? I bought three mounts. I bought two birds and a, and a kite. <laughs> I just went to the mount vendor and I started I started chipping mounts off the list. I didn't see any good reason why not. So many options to level a little paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Gotten 10k by solo questing over eight hours. Yeah, why not treat yourself? Yeah, I figure that's what it's for. I just wish that any of them were good for dragon riding so I would actually use them while leveling in Remix. Did consult your mounts needed spreadsheet? One of my one of my very exciting, super cool, awesome dreams is that this year I want to learn a few new tricks <laughs> with um with spreadsheets. Just basic things. You know, I want to I want to get a little bit more adept. I remember back in school, they taught us how to like use spreadsheets to generate various graphs, and I thought that was kind of fun. But I've totally forgotten like all the details of how to do it. So I think that just for like regular household stuff like I don't know, like my grocery budget or uh, you know, I want to I want to just kind of play around with it and 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 learn a little more. It's one of the things I want to work on this year. It seems like a fun skill to have. 
I don't know if I'm going to make a mounts needed spreadsheet because so many things to do with WoW collecting are managed for you so nicely by third party websites that are free. My bad habit is eyeballing my grocery budget. I mean, if I can confess something, and this is a little embarrassing, I don't, I haven't really been using a budget. I've just been kind of trying to buy things on sale and try to buy things that I eat <laughs> and not doing the math super closely. And part of that is because I'm lucky to be, um, I'm, I'm lucky to be saving like actively. So like, I'm, I'm not, I'm lucky to be not in a position where if I buy the, the expensive milk, I can still pay rent, you know, um, which I'm very lucky to be in that, in that position. But it means that I don't have a real clear, tight view of how much money I spend on food. And I think it would be like, I'm not even trying to really set a budget. I think it would just be interesting for me. And maybe it would help me make better shopping choices if I had a clear view. Like the first step to changing something like that, I feel like is always just like getting more clear about your own information um, and just having a better understanding of what you're doing now before you decide anything about what you might want to change. Are Canada grocery prices as insane as everyone's saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Affirmative. But, um, I'm, I, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm lucky that I can, I can still eat. Um, I'm not choosing between my power bill and my groceries right now. So I'm trying to not complain. <laughs> buy things on sale, buy things in bulk whenever possible. Uh, find things that are yummy to eat, that are easy to make, that are cheap. I like a good, I like a good lentil curry. I like a good chickpea, chickpea curry, beans, rice, etc. Good stuff. <laughs> Drinking milk in this economy. I, you want to hear how fancy and privileged I am? Um, I buy free range eggs on purpose. They're like $8 a dozen. <laughs> milk that's two bucks, I drink water. I think I pay about $6 for a... Five dollars for a two-liter jug of milk, something like that. She's rich. Mm -hmm. Chickpea potato curry is the best. That's what I made. That's what I made. That was my last one. I literally did a chickpea and potato curry, um, and then I had leftovers that we we heated up in the thermoses and took fishing. I was so excited. It was so good having it outside. Just own some chickens. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm renting an apartment. <laughs> And uh, it, I don't, I think I'm aspiring to be a homeowner, but when I say homeowner, I mean basically this, but a version where you're paying a mortgage. I would need to be a millionaire to get land that qualified for chickens in this, within like a three hour drive of my parents. I would need to be like a, like a, like a big millionaire. <laughs> I do still make my own sourdough. You must save a lot by not eating meat. I've never really figured, I, I assume so, but I also don't really know because it's not like it's something I've ever shopped for as part of my groceries. So I just kind of have always understood my grocery budget without it. Um, I'm pretty cheap when it comes to food though. <laughs> I like to think I save money by not smoking and drinking. And that makes me feel a little bit better sometimes whenever I'm like, oh man. You know, that's where the free range eggs and the cheese budget. Cause I do like to eat cheese and I buy cheese regularly and holy smokes, that's a big part of my groceries. <laughs> Mm. Hubby and I are toying with the idea of moving to the area of the country where dad's from. Get a proper house. It sounds lovely. Mm. I remember I looked into making cheese myself to see if that was cheaper, but it's not. <laughs> it's absolutely not. The, the raw dairy is what's expensive. Do you treat yourself to luxury cheeses? Mm, sometimes when I'm feeling fancy, I get a little bit of goat cheese and I like to have it with strawberries. Maybe some wheat thins. <laughs> Put a little goat cheese in a homemade pizza. Sometimes goat cheese goes on sale. I keep an eye on the flyers. I like playing the grocery flyer and the grocery points game. I find that to be very fun. Um, the trick is to not get tricked into buying something that you don't eat or that you don't normally like. Because sometimes you're like, oh man, this is really great value. This thing's on super sale. And you like forget about the fact that you don't want it. <laughs> you know, or like you won't eat it before it goes bad or whatever it's going to be. Um, the real trick is to is to be either very flexible with what you're going to make and eat or be true to yourself about what you're actually going to eat. And don't get lured into sales that are for things that you wouldn't buy in the first place. 
I have not tried goat cheese with truffle oil. <laughs> Ask me when I'm 45. Maybe we'll be there then. Dangerous topic. You get quite hungry on stream and you don't like to eat with us. Uh, my time slot is almost up. I have to go in the next 10 minutes or so. Ho oh, ho, level 40. <laughs> Breaking the sound barrier. When we get turn pink gun. I think that's a toy I already have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> what percentage of the cheese that you eat is melted? Pretty high amount. <laughs> Above 50 for sure. Brother makes this goat cheese potato walnuts. Uses a fruit. Oh, that sounds good. Recent guild chatter was when was the last time you had pears slash peaches and cottage cheese? Uh -huh. hmm. I have fought these bosses like a bunch of times and I really don't need to anymore. <laughs> I think what I should do is I should stick with and power through this um, tricking vermin with the turnip quest because I hate that quest. It's like my least favorite quest in this whole zone. And I feel like we do that and then we have nice, delightful quests that are not that one to work on next time. Be proud of the cheese content of your life. You don't want to die wishing you ate more cheese. As a shadow priest, is leech important? Shadow priest noob asking. Mm, I'm not a shadow priest expert. I like Leech, but that's because I usually heal, and I remember a season where it was really strong for healing, so I just tend to get it. Um, I would refer back to- I would refer to an actual class writer guide, though. I don't really know. Hi, Hazel and Jack. Hi, Meg. How you doing? I hope things are good. I think you've got, you can really do well though in Remix if you work on survival, the <laughs> survivability. I was going to say, if you get the survivability, you get the shields and stuff. Holy, holy moly. So that you can um, do big pulls and survive them. It also has just occurred to me that I might not be, I, I, I don't think I actually should be fighting those at all. I think I'm supposed to be painting them orange. Mm. Boomy Diana, thank you for the two month resub. Here's a sub. You kept me sane for the 239 runs I did for the Mummified Raptor. I hope it dropped on 239. I hope you got it. Congratulations. Well, that's ironic. Hmm. Oh, dear. Um, can I get in this way? Same, same cave? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes things are not my favorite for reasons that are entirely my fault. Such as when you're supposed to be tricking them and not uh, icing them. Okay, getting started way later than I wanted to, but we keep going. How are you doing? Mm, I can get behind that. I'm doing pretty good. I actually, for once in my earthly life, am a tiny bit ahead of a few things. And I also have a list written down on paper of, of things that I want to do today and then like tomorrow like a like I like I had a to-do list and instead of getting wildly overwhelmed and being like this is too much and I'm scared and I'll never do it and then not doing it for like eight months I wrote down the things and I put them on different days so that I didn't have to do it all in one day because that's never gonna happen and I've been keeping up with it so far <laughs> it's like magic I know that's how it works but it's something that has historically been really hard for me to follow through on so I'm pretty proud of myself Ironically, on 300 plus on Marrowfang. Oh, man. Yeah. I always get overwhelmed with my to-do lists. I found that I'm somebody that gets overwhelmed very, very easily. So a lot of what is helpful for me is finding ways to not... To not let myself get to that point. Because as soon as I've got myself worked up that much, and no, nothing's, nothing's getting done and I'm just in damage control mode... Um, so finding, finding little things to do and little ways to kind of make it seem more reasonable and figure out what it is that bothers me about XYZ things so that I can maybe mitigate those parts. I always find the system that works, then I find another one, and having the novelty of a new system quite often helps. Mm. Yeah, novelty is good. I came to realize that one of the biggest things 
that I really dislike and makes me really anxious about a lot of to-do lists is when there's a task that I don't really know how to do. Like, I know I should do something, and I don't really know how. And that will just, like, stall me. That will 404 Hazel out real good. Um, sometimes until the, the whole problem is, like, way worse than it needed to be if I had just either asked for help or, like, Googled it. Um, so I'm trying to to break things down into smaller steps. And if I figure out that it is something that I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, to add in research steps to do separately. It was like, okay, you don't have to do this thing. You just have to make make some notes. Go find five tips or five facts or, like, make an outline of, like, how you might go about learning more about this. And then usually by the time I know what I'm supposed to do, it's fine. It's this idea of I have to do a thing and I don't understand that really freaks me out. Um, sounds like me. Take me with Outline. You. You're fired. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Oh, Spearlock. Mm. I feel like I'm still missing a surprising amount of Tinker Gems. Even though I feel like I would have had them all by now. I'm just happy I'm done with that turtle painting quest. Did I change my Hearthstone? My Hearthstone still takes me to the Drunken Hosen. I guess I don't remember where that is. Oh, thanks for the five anonymous gift subs. <laughs> just don't get overwhelmed. I never would have thought of that, right? Yeah, not, not wildly helpful. And people will always tell you, break it down into smaller pieces and then only look at the one piece. And sometimes when you've heard the same piece of advice like a million times, even if it's true advice and it's effective, that doesn't mean it's going to help you, right? Like... Sometimes you have to find another step that gets you to being able to take that helpful advice. 36 Tinker Gems, I think. 67. Oh. Oh. How am I, how am I, how am I uh, Prismatic Gems doing? Pieces here and there. Another, another uh, red, red level hungering one. Oh, that's Leech. I, I think I'm just going to hearth and then I can always drag and ride back to here later. But I got to wrap up for today. Did you see? Did you hear? They might reveal BL4. You're saying a lot of words that I'm not familiar with, but I'm glad you're excited about it. <laughs> I hope it works out for you in the way that you, you want. Hmm. Broke mine into small pieces. It became 32 pieces. I want to collect. Hmm. Roleplay being Hazel's personal assistant and she's tasked you to learn how to do blank whatever. Whenever I hear stories about about jobs that have a lot of problem solving, like being a personal assistant, where somebody is like constantly having to figure out how to make things happen that don't have like laid out, you know, paths. Um, that always super impresses me because some people are just crazy good at that, where like it doesn't phase them and they're like, all right, we're just gonna call, you know, Jen and then, you know, like get a favor from Borgel and, you know, like. <laughs> Just walk in this door over here and it'll be fine. Like, they just figure out a way to get things done. Meanwhile, I'm like, excuse me, is there a form where I can do this on your website? I think it sounds super cool to say stuff like, consider it done. <laughs> That's how my work is. There's no written procedure or manual. Yeah. So sometimes I think sandboxiness is good for some people and for other people it's terrifying. But it's definitely a skill you can learn no matter what. But that is all of the um, rambling that I can do before I... Katie, it's, it's time to go. You come to collect me? I gotta go is basically what I'm saying. I will be, I will be back tomorrow morning. We start 9 a.m. Pacific time for another remix stream. I am currently level 40. We'll see how, how far along we can get. Maybe we'll do some raid. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs>